So we started recording. So what are you doing for that weekend jump? Anyone? Um, I'm looking at the one ads for air rafts. I don't know about you guys, but uh, I'm trying to figure out how I can steal an air raft. And I'm talking to Victor because I peeled off the VIN numbers of the air raft I sold because I want to try to remount them on the next air raft I'm going to oh. get. Did and you? I'm wondering if there's a way we can make it look like the original air raft we lost. We got to get okay, the model. Okay, so made. there's only uh-huh. one little problem with that. <laughs> yeah. Um, the the VIN numbers that you so carefully peeled off are also stamped on a molecular level. Oh, of course they are. You can't. You, yeah. Well. Well. So uh, you did? Did you remember to take find that that molecule and and um take it off that molecule? No, of course I didn't, Steve. Oh, okay. I just found this out Rightio. now. Just ask it. You could have said yes, and I would have been okay with it, you know. But, um, well, you know. Instead, I'm going to go back, and I have a coffee and a shot of whiskey, and I'm yep. going back to talk to Victor and say, well, how did we lose that air raft, Victor? I thought it crashed, didn't it? Didn't we just destroy it? Didn't it crash? You so you've got some yeah, – you'll, you'll soon like have some very <laughs> – different log entries by various people about how this air raft has gone so so far um someone sold it to get some um needed gene therapy someone sold it as a gift to some for some sexual favors and now it's no, crashed. No. Nobody did either one of those. It crashed. We crashed. It was destroyed. There's nothing left of it. it I have no idea. Okay. So, we were being attacked. So you want to ask brother to do that, or do you want to go in there and do that yourself? What do I have to have brother do? I have to... Ter- brother was out of control. Brother doesn't remember. He was damaged. It happened while he was damaged. Well, we were attacked, the air raft was destroyed. I think we could edit the books that way, couldn't we? It's up to Everybody, you. I mean, we're all together, up aren't to we? You. No one's going to rat me out. They're captain, are they? Oh, huh. there's some very suspicious-looking people right now looking at each other. Um, anyway. I am rolling my uh, eyes. Fab is shaking his magic eight ball for the answer. <laughs> okay, so Dab, come on, what do you wish to do? Pal. You, you wouldn't rat on your captain, would you? <laughs> Rip- Answer hazy. Try later. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I know Victor's on my side. Vic, Victor's yeah. with me through thick and thin. So, what are you putting oh, in yeah. the system? Yeah, thick atmosphere, thin atmosphere. The, la- the last log entry it has would be you accessing it and exiting the air, the the bay that it's in. That's all logged in because you'd be logging into your numbers and security stuff to get it well of course it is you mean to tell me i wouldn't know these things and we yeah. really have to you can change it if you I... want to that's what i'm telling you but there's no oh. other way to get it off the system off the ship but i'm sure you had some sort of plan to deal with all this i'm sure i would have i just didn't uh, think that out when we were actually doing it i just wanted yeah. to be able to have a big drink again yep and you I'm can have a drink, pilot. not a big one. I want my whiskey. Well, you got your whiskey. Now you just got to... Yeah, but I can't have a big one. I got to just sip it. Yep. We'll have a reaction. Oh, on my God. Blasted. Sip it, for God's sake. <laughs> Take the shot. I think there. you're having something. Yeah. Okay, so what do you want to do? Yeah, he, he feels deprived of his humanity until we find out what kind of bog water... Uh, it's drunk, you know. Can we edit? Can we edit it like it was blasted and we repaired it and it got it got ejected in space? Can we like? You got computer? Edit the file to do that. You got computer? Yeah. Get one of those. I need some help from somebody who's really good at computers, and I pat Bab on the back. <laughs> I, I have a, a little film clip. We could just like, sort of like cut it in, and maybe it just disappeared. What is it that it. you want against? I probably wow, wasn't paying attention nice. to uh-huh. Jacob's uh, scam talk. I, I wanted to edit it like when we were under attack, when we left that world. Like the ship got blasted and we lost the uh, era. So you need to change destroyed. the time logs and all that stuff as well. Yeah, we'd have to change the time logs and make yeah. it look like it got blasted and lost. Tricky. And then it'll just be a or, hazard. Or, or you could, or you could be, you're being too, too clever. 
or you could just say yeah, we had to leave urgently and and couldn't ret couldn't get it back into the ship. But then then they might want to go back to pick it up. You never yeah, know. Gonna, gonna, yeah, maybe, but then oh, it got stolen. I mean, gonna what is that? It it's six hundred thousand credits, brand new. When we sold it for three hundred eighty thousand. That's not like a chump of change, man. That's like a. That's like a really. Greg, really sorry, rich. what's this? What's this? We sold it. For? <laughs> <laughs> and the first worm turns. No, 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 it's not we. It's not we. <laughs> it's not we. Is this the royal well, second way? one? Second one turns. Hey, aren't, aren't we united? I thought we were a team, everyone. I thought we were a team. <laughs> Screw a team. It's a <laughs> together. I work on this ship as a medic, and that's as far as it goes. You're also a gunner, though, too, Mrs. Doctor there. That's her hobby, perhaps. No, whatever. Or stress release. Yeah. <laughs> it is a stress release. <laughs> all I do is think of all the faces that I am living with in this ship, and I blast away. <laughs> Well, that's, I, I'm going to say I had nothing to do with my captain. If I talked to those police with the centurion uh, fringe on their little helmets or whatever it is on a planet, you know, I'll say, no, I had nothing to do with that. You know, I just, you know, I, I just punch the computer and I do the sensors. In fact, that's all they have me do. Sensors, 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 you know, that's all I do. You got, I like, computer, you got like computer through, man. You could, you know, just, I got I, this little <laughs> film here. And yeah. you could just kind of cut it in and clip this in here like that. Uh, I might screw it up. I got computer skills too, but I just don't want to. Yeah, any any hollow anything is going to look leave like big claw marks, and everybody will see it. Yeah, those I don't want to leave big tracks, and you know how to not leave those tracks better than me, buddy old pal yeah. Stav. What buddy do you think you try to run this real quick on there? Yeah, if I try to fake a scene that'll look like robot chicken with little plasticine figures and whatnot, <laughs> maybe like, switch this file for that file. You lost it; it's gone. Well, mm. I, I don't know. I'd rather I'd rather be clean so I can tell the police I had nothing to do with it. I was on the censor board all day, and I dimly sensed there was crime lurking about, but I didn't really see anything. No, I saw yeah. nothing. I know nothing. Yeah, it's so don't, you don't, don't want to do it. Victor will uh, give it a go. Excellent. Yeah, what's, your, what's your computer bill, skill, Victor? Uh, two. I got computer one. I can assist you. All right. You're a, you're, you're, you're a dedicated, <laughs> loyal now, crewmate, just, man. Just, you're uh, yeah. just the rest of you you're just need to know, you're in jump space. Yeah. The computer is what's keeping you stable. <laughs> well, yeah. You We're not going to mess with the stable part. We're just going to work around the edges. We're not going to mess with the jump. Because <laughs> it's not all connected like, hey. Oh, <laughs> we're just trying to change a file in the databank. And the time timelines and a whole lot of other it's, bits You know, it's like delete and add. It's like copy, paste, delete, Yeah, no. Nah. But anyway, <laughs> let's get those. So first of all, can you please, so this will be your whole week because it does take a while to do all of this. Um, yeah. So can I please get uh, Jacob to give me a support role with his computer one, was it? Computer one, yeah. Yep. Don't fuck it up, Jacob. Oh. Boom, I'm nice. in. Yes. Cool. Dun, dun, dun. All right. So you get a plus one on that there, um, um, Victor. All right. You get a plus three, Victor. We're in the computer. We're in the main frame now. <laughs> Oh, that's terrible. Oh, shit. Well, you know he's got a plan. He's going to have fun with this. Brothers, we kicked oh. off the alarms. Maybe Pierre could come and help. We're in trouble. We might end up in the middle of the I have no plan. I have no plan. I have no plan. You just um, inserted the wrong file, so you put some of, you know, some of um, Dale's porn in there or something. Yeah. Alien porn. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry about One that. of Victor's homemade movies is going to pop up. <laughs> oh. With the lizard people. With the big lizard girl. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Rightio. So you can you should be able to see my video there, Jerry, so you can see there's no smile. <laughs> I can't see. Let me see. Oh, what a pity. Oh, I'm fucking lying. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> see, no smile at all. <laughs> no smile. <laughs> okay, radio. 
Um, oh. So you, you two are fiddling with the computer. You, um, it doesn't blow up, which is great. You know, everyone really appreciates mm -hmm. that. You are a few mm -hmm. hours out of jump when you you finally believe you've done this. You've changed the timestamp. You've inserted the file where it should be in the various video tracking status, the inputs, all that sort of stuff. Um, you've tried to feed it in some of, uh, try to match up the, um, what would be video surveillance of the fight with the um, air raft sort of being accessed or blown up or whatever. <clears throat> you believe you've done a pretty good job, although um, a little bit of what Stav said about little plasticine figures, yeah, um, anyway, um, you know, it's, yeah. it's like a lot of video in there. To, 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 to casually, good stuff. it looks good. Should be recording this. Casually, stuff. it looks good. You know, if no one's really the wrong video. Do we yeah. got do we, do we got Victor kind of doing his moves with the lizard girl? And no, no, no. Around? That that was luckily nothing of that went in there this time. <laughs> so, two hours. Um, the computer, not brother. The computer indicates your nav computer indicates you're two hours out from jump. So, um, just need to know how you want to get ready to coming into a crom. Oh. oh given this is yes, a, a high water world, yeah, we should be on alert, right? Yeah, I More can't say. Up to you. Count oh man. Rate. What the hell is that? That, that's Tev's maximum mean? security intrusion countermeasure def defense program. Uh, that's the defense program? Yeah, pretty, isn't it? No. <laughs> Never played Cyberpunk, Shadowrun, and yeah. games like that. Yeah, they have no, those sort of things. They're, they're I cool. Did, but I do love your defense programs. Personified. Yeah. Yeah. That cool. Okay, so um, how is the group going to um, get ready for the jump out? I don't know what do we do. Um. Hmm. <laughs> We have to be well, where exactly character? did we jump to? Are we at the hundred diameter? Where is that well, going to be popping up on Icarus, or are we at where we need to go? A quorum, a quorum, yeah, your destination, yeah. high water Acura. world. I put in right at the start there, guys. I put in the um, Acorum's, uh, Acorum's um, thing there. Oh, Acorum. Okay, there's the stats. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, Starport B4, yep. tainted atmosphere, 90% hydro graphics. Ooh. Shouldn't be a problem, should it? Yeah, that's a problem, bros. Where we, did no, we go to the guest? <laughs> Stab yeah, Stab go to the 3D printer and programs to make it, cause it to make a styrofoam pool noodle and just lets it keep going all week for the world's <laughs> longest pool noodle. All right. Excellent. We're going to have a big old pool noodle with a lot of, can we put a wrap it around the entire ship? And yeah, Probably. Yeah. Yeah, it'll uh, it'll help us get to the next island, you know, since it's 90% water. But is that a hundred, hundreds of thousands of people, Democrat, right? Four is democracy, and three would be low law level. Mm -hmm. You carry on with, yeah, and you got a low law level. Look. Sorry, I've got to look. These people are going to be doing a lot nine. of fishing. Well, the problem is yep. water worlds attract the Omega energies and the enemies of that we're fighting. <laughs> worlds with high water content seem to be dangerous. Don't forget to look at the rest of the um, line after the planet. Uh, Naval Scout Gas Giant Non-Industrial. What was that first bit? Okay. Acheron. Navy. Navy. Um, NSG. I was, naval. I was thinking naval about base. this before the game. I was thinking about this. How are we set up for these size shields? We should constantly uh -huh. keep them on as we get we out of jump. We got the buttons on our right. neck. I got my button on. Mm. Oh, right, right. That's right. Yeah, we got that high-tech button that's better than a size shield. Oh, yeah, because like last time... Still yeah, got it. Last time, last time, okay. Don't yeah. you remember yeah. I, for some yeah. reason, forgot to put mine on, and I wanted to slow the ship down, and I got my one on. mine melded. Yep. It was being screwed with. Yeah. 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 Well, you, we need we need a we need a code word so we know it's not your usual erratic behavior. So if you're <laughs> hey, erratic... hey, hey, be nice to your captain here, Stab. I know you didn't want to help. You didn't want your hands on. I, I don't know. I got it, but I, I got a feeling it might not be all right. And I scratch my head. 
Anyways, we're coming out of jump, and I'd say we would take aim at the naval base. I would also say that everybody, just because of everything that's going on, of course, my character's dead sober. I always want to have my best head on when we come out of jump. I just oh, your best head? Hand. Yeah, my best head. Well, I'm glad they took that as your best head. <laughs> James is Anyhow, fighting words. Yeah. <laughs> So, anyways, we, uh, yeah. I would say everybody vac suit up and depressurize and be combat ready. Combat programs in. We're running our combat programs. And we are moving forward with that. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, so, yeah, you aimed we'll... to come out um, knowing that you're being chased, knowing that this possesses a danger, potentially. Yeah. Um, where are you wanting to exit space from? Where's the naval base at? The naval base, um, you don't know because you've never been here. You just know there is a naval base present. And we're going to need, this is a jump one, two, this is a jump three, so it's going to wipe out our fuel. Uh, jump two. How far is it? It's a single star. How far is the gas chain from the main world? Uh, pretty far. It'll be out um, midway between Jupiter and Saturn's orbit. So you're looking at like four or five days even at... Well, we've got 4G. We can cut it down shorter. You're looking at like 600 million miles, kilometers. Uh, what do you guys say we go... We go Which uh, is a lot of time for first. other people to react as well to. Yeah. I, I think we should mm -hmm. refuel first. I think we yeah, should refuel. Yeah, giant is a water world. Because... There's a Did scout base, happen? a naval base, a gas giant, but we're going to be far away if we're at the gas yeah, giant. But just just remember though that if they if 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 they are compromised, we don't want to go anywhere near them. So we'd be better off to get fuel before we do that. Let's can't get you, fuel. Can't, can't you pilots come in at some pirate point somewhere that that bloody gets us in? You know, at the far side of the system or something. Everybody in agreement with that? Yeah. Getting fuel. Well, we can get fuel either way. It's just do we come out at the gas giant or the water world and we die for the water we duck tuck under. This will make energies though. I would say Brian, it sounds like you're saying we should have come out at the back end of the gas giant. I think so, so we can get fuel so if we have to get out of dodge fast, we can. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we, we set the course originally giant because it's a water world okay so we're right. going to come out of as at the back side of the gas giant at an angle i'm gonna i would try to set the course i have navigation you can i can do a roll for this if you want hang on i just um, want to hear what you I want to try do to set the course where we come out on the back side of the planet and we're kind of shielded from the main world so that we could just mm -hmm. come straight into the gas giant and skim get these mm -hmm. fuel tanks filled up before we do anything else and of course, we come out combat ready with combat programs all installed and depressurized and ready for anything. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Darren well, and um, uh, Dale, where are you uh, situated? What? Oh, um, oh. battle stations. Okay. For me. That's right. Yeah. Jen, we need you in the turret. Fine. I've got my finger on the big red sensor button. No, no, seriously, the job's more complicated than that. But yeah, big red red sensor. Button. one big red sensor button. Victor and Sam are in the back. I'm keeping yep. the drive humming. Um, we're all depressurized and vac suited up mm -hmm. in case there's a hit. And we come out of the jump bubble and 100 diameters on the back side of the gas giant. You want me to make a nav roll to see if that uh, turned out right? Or... No, that's all okay. That part's okay. Um, okay. okay, so what is your plan when you come out, assuming that it's clear and you can make for the gas giant, are you hitting at what G? Um, well, we first we would run a sensor scan and we would probably head at 4G into the gas okay. giant and cool. decelerate down in. So okay. we would bump it up to 4G. Now we went in and jump at a dead stop, right? Say that yeah. again? Because we're going to want to go quick. Mm. We're going to want to go quick, and we get under the surface of the gas giant's atmo where we're hidden, and then just fill up our fuel. Okay. And then maybe we could rise out slowly and do a lot of sensor scans, and then maybe passively work our way into yeah. the home world. Okay. 
radio so can you give me a nav roll please i'm just gonna say this okay. happened before you went into jump yeah yeah that's fair enough i have navigation two and i roll an okay. 11. radio um exiting jump boom in normal space you are approximately at where you expect to be you can see the gas giant visually so it's it's close enough it's big enough to see visually um you are about a hundred diameters away from it um beautiful lily arrived um pierre what are you up to i want to get find that air raft man we're going to replace it with that little dome Okay, anyway, uh, no, I'm going to, I would ask Pierre to do a passive sensor scan, and passive. I would want to set course to move into the gas giant. Okay, passive, so we go... can't use the Amiga energy, because that's active. Oh, uh, we, so we don't have a, uh, we don't have the Omega energy sensors or anything? We can't run Not that? Not passive, no, it's got to be active. Oh, well, let them run a passive first. If we don't sense anything nearby, as we get closer to the gas giant, we'll go active sensors. Okay. And see what that says. Because we'll sort of be shielded, okay. I would think. Okay, okay. Stab does a passive sensor, so that's an electronic roll. Mm -hmm. Okay, doing a roll. Okay, Stav, yeah. um, as far as you can tell from these readings, um, it all seems clear. I'm going to be back in a second because I have to go to the water. All good. All right. So um, at this point, I'm taking it that Jacob speeds up to the 4G, heading in as fast as he can. Um, Absolutely. And Stav is taking sensory as far as he can. Yeah. Yep. Readings. Okay. At a passive please, level. Stav. Passive, yep. When would he switch to active? Um, I would say, well... Uh, we're probably more than halfway and we're in the deceleration mode okay. and we're still sort of shielded where they may not be able to detect where we are. Mm. I would say right about then, probably about three quarters to the journey through. We're okay. decelerating now and getting ready to skim. Yep. That's when I would ask him to do an active sensor scan. Okay. Okay. So Stav is going to flip the switch right next to the big red button. See, the board's <laughs> getting more and more intricate. So <laughs> next is active and oh. passive. You switch mm. it to yeah. active. No, no. Active, right? When you want, whenever you say. Okay, go for it. All right. And the new scan, what is that? Oh, new roll yep. then. Okay. Yep. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, not so good. Okay. It's then this that you way. notice, Stav, it's then that you notice um, something's playing up with your computers. Um, suddenly you're reading on your sensors that there's just jam, strawberry jam, if you're to believe the sensors, between you and the planet. Strawberry jam? Mm. Um, it's a joke. It's jammed. <laughs> um, Dale, can you give me a gunnery lock, please, on something? Was that, a, oh. was that your main? That would be you, Brian. Yep. So just a normal yeah. gunnery roll to see if you can find something yep. to lock yep. onto. Okay, you lock on to something, just getting ready, and then across the screen jumps a rabbit, a bunny rabbit, and it jumps on your lock and it bounces the lock off. Um, that shouldn't be happening. A bunny oh. rabbit? Oh, you mean in the computer screen? Hmm. Uh oh, this is. Guess what? I know what's going on here, Victor. We mm. failed our role. We got bunny rabbits and, and we got <laughs> strawberry jam shit in the computer that we didn't plan. Oh shit! I say, hey, Stav, we might want to do while we're refueling. I would say keep your guns off, but there's definitely something must have went wrong. You, with you want to go doing. into a guest joint atmosphere while you've got computer problems? We got while well, we still have to skim. Yeah. Um, I would uh, ask Stav to So you're going to go in, and you are going to drive by the seat of your pants. Well, I'm Victor. I, I mean, I'm Jacob. Why yeah, yeah, that, I that's fine. No, right? that's fine. Um, but I did tell you <laughs> well, that brother... Ever. I don't need yeah, a no damn computer. You've been having him use... Be, he's been automating a lot of the processes so you can apply your stuff, but that's all cool. Use, 
Use the use the force. Uh, yeah, use the force, Luke. Use the force. Force. Yes, that's right. I'm using the force, man. Yeah. I think, damn, I should probably have a little little tongue of um, whiskey on here, but no whiskey. Uh, yeah. Um, Drop the blast shield. Just do it blind. All right, uh, Victor, can you give me an engineering uh -huh. check, please? All right. You're getting some weird stuff happening on your boards. I know I should have signed up um, for that. It looks, it looks like you, the you, jump drives are winding up to engage and they wind down, and they wind up and they wind down, and they wind up and they wind down. Oh, boy. You, you, you need to take the drive completely offline. Just engage the jump yeah. drives, get them offline, We're talking about a, a physical, yeah. physically yeah. uncoupled yeah. room. It's, yeah, he said if one drive goes off next to a gas giant in a gravity well that powerful, <laughs> yeah. it's been fun, gentlemen. <laughs> yeah. One of these shattered atoms. Can I give, get another engineering roll off you, please, Victor? And um, can I get yeah. an engineering roll first off um, Sam to support him? Because this is an emergency process. I believe yeah. Sam is a one, right? Yeah. yeah. There's okay, Sam is not no, very can't do it. She's freaking out. Yep. Okay. She's freaking out. She's like, what the hell's this? She's panicking. It's, it's, it's okay. There's an emergency <laughs> shutdown. We just need to uh, do this. <laughs> do this. He, so Victor closes his eyes and he pulls on two wires. <laughs> yep. And he shuts down the yep. jump drive. So the jump drives, wire, yeah, they wind right down. Um, that they're not going to engage, but you've only got maneuver drive at the moment, which is, seems to be working totally fine. Well, I'm going in like a badass, and I'm opening up the fuel scoops, and I'm on manual piloting, and I'm under an eight. Yeah, um, <laughs> you you start coming in, and your ship starts to list to the let to the port. Like you're not controlling this. This is just just doing it. What something. the hell is this? Do you want to try so to get I out of that before you dive into the? And like you won't yeah. be skimming, you'll be diving I'm, deep into that. So I'll be diving. I'll be forced to dive deep into the gas. If giant you if carry on, unless you try to pull out of it. All right, I'm going to try to pull out of it and try to get a, a stable okay. approach. Okay. And I still don't, guys. You this haven't gone right any deeper. Quick. We're going but straight you into are, the gas giant. What's called Even skidding? With a plus three, I can't get above an eight. You're skidding through You're the skidding atmosphere. On the, on the through the atmosphere. The atmosphere. Yeah, you haven't. Being released off, but you haven't got out. This is going to create. If you this goes on any further, this will start to create some damage within the ship's hull. So give it another blast. Holy fuck! Keep going. <laughs> one more, one more seven or less, and I'm happy. One more seven or less, and we take a hit. Yeah. Oh, well, it feels like we're surfing, boys. <laughs> I try one more time. Right, I think okay. I got us now. Boom! I pull it stable. You do and, and in a we, very, very we tight. We're supposed to would open up the incline uh, out of the um, atmosphere. Yeah. You're not skipping anymore. Um, right. Sam will need to check her boards. Victor will need to check his boards. Um, Garen and Dale need to check their boards on their gunnery stations, and as much as Dave can do. Everyone just needs to oh, give me a basic roll to check if there's been any further damage, as much as they can ascertain. Dale, you can't tell a thing because that bloody bunny keeps on bouncing all over the screen. There's a little rabbit on the screen. I'm yeah, the little, little cartoon screen? rabbit, one uh, 2D rab I, rabbit. I go, hey Victor, what did we do to the computer man? I don't see a rabbit. Is it? No. Hey Stab, we might need your help now. <laughs> Maybe yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna see if we uh, we should check for a computer virus or something. I've got the computer three. Okay, where you go? Yeah, I, I would say we need your help now. We can roll to assist for him, right? Um, at the moment, you are trying to pilot the ship against oh, it, I'm, and I'm Victor still needs to give a, a full diagnostics in the back. So, Victor. And right now our jump engineering drive is off and mine, so Sam will do the electronics anywhere. for the power plant and the main and the maneuver drives. Wait, okay, Sam, yeah. Sam calm down now. She's not freaking she's, out. She's, she's, she's busy doing light. stuff. Um right. Sam's a little light, but she's... Yeah. Um no, she's not happy, she's gonna have to go again. Um and go a bit more thorough, take a bit more time. Okay. So our that's not helping her. Um, she will probably whack the board because it's just giving her a whole lot of gobbledygook. 
um, she knows what she'll do. She'll turn it off and turn it on again. Because that always helps. Reboot. Reboot. Still, I can't roll over a seven. No. Reboot. Okay, she's that getting... Her diagnostic station is giving her no... She's going to have to do a manual check. Um, okay. And that's dangerous. Um, anything under a six means that she'll take on rads because she has to get close to the power plant. To she rolled a seven, but I can't roll over a seven with a plus one. Okay. Unless she is not sure, but she believes the power systems are fine. She doesn't know. She only believes they look good. She can't see any Victor, evidence of cracks or anything. Victor, I'm struggling. I'm not sure. There was some issues I'm not sure about. The grid looks good, but I'm not sure. Yep. That's and, what she says yep. to Victor. Victor, I, I need your diagnostics, please. Okay, what am I rolling? Uh, you're doing um, an engineer. electronics for the um, engineer, uh, the maneuver drives. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Mechanical, sorry, mechanical. Be, no, no, it's electronics oh. and mechanical. you got to do one of each okay. for yours. All yeah. right. Uh, I'm pretty good at electronics. There we go. Ten on that. Yep, no. Um, hmm. Apart from taking extra load, you can fix that while you're doing that. That's fine. Um, and the mechanical. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, not as good at that, but let's give it a go. Okay. Oh, cool. um, what, whatever Victor does, it helps you, uh, Jacob, because the ship is not doing wild things, you know? Um, you might want to turn slightly to the port. Well, it's, it's doing quite an aggressive turn, or... It's like, like it's a very loose joystick sort of thing. Um, has been happening, but he seems to have tightened up the response in some manner, some way. In my control response, yep. so my piloting is just more like it should be. Yeah. Um, yeah, so... a little bit. I, I see over the top. You're doing something right, because things are a little better here on the controls. You might want to be a little further away from the microphone, Jerry. It's, it's, awesome. it's not loud. It's just it's all... Blah, 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 blah. So I'm moving around, that's why. Oh, okay. Is this better? Yep, it's better. Um, Stav. Yeah. Computer roll, please. And then Garen right. and Brian, uh, Garen and Dale for their, to see if they can reinitiate their systems. Because at the moment, All right, let's see if I can, not let's see if I can detected. fix these computers. Okay, Dale. You, computers. Oh, yep. That's a mistake. Computers. Ooh! Ooh, nice. Double six, double six, double six. Nice. Point one, or whatever mm -hmm. it is to add to. Mm -hmm. Okay, Rod S. Dev, you have a look at it. You know straight away what the problem is. It's Crystal Matrix has been corrupted. Um, the AI, you're going to have to take it offline um, because it's not... The, the, a physical part of it is corrupted. Whether that was these two guys playing around with it or something left over from because remember it was damaged. Um, whether it's something that's left over from the damage, you're not sure. You'd need to sit down and have a really good look at it. But the matrix, part of the crystal matrix of the machine is damaged and brother can't function properly. And he's doing a whole lot of erratic things. So safer to turn him off and just do everything manually, which is harder. But safer. Get it, Sid. All right. So the computer and the AI guy is er erratic. Uh, let me see. Yep. Yeah, well, you can uh, just remove the modules and um, just put them away somewhere, and and just turn that part of the computer um, activity off until you can see somewhere how you can fix it. Oh, okay. Well, that's too bad, though. Our computer will have no personality whatsoever, whereas nope. before it had 1% personality. Yep. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, we got to do what we got to do here. Okay. I'll, taking that offline, the, the component. Rodeo. Straight away, Jacob, you've got full control back. Woo. Okay. We Good were... job. Good job, gentlemen. All right. It's time to Great. do it. It's time right. to fill these fuel tanks. And I bring her back down in, and we're filling fuel. Good Rodeo. job. Yep. You got yeah. a point one there, Stav. Good thing, yeah, too. Dude. We don't want to lurch when it's six and eight Gs outside. You know, it's bad <laughs> news. Bad. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, we're filling the fuel scoops right now. Okay. Um, so you can do. Um... 10 tons an hour. Ah, oh, sorry, you've got two scoops. Um, 10 tons an hour. And how many tons do you need? 
Well, we had one parsec left because it's only yep. a jump two, and we could make a so jump you three, took and a then third, we used a week. So you had a third left, so, and you would have had two weeks of um, endurance left, I think. No, oh, a week of endurance mm -hmm. left. Yeah. How much does the ship take? I'm looking at your stats. Like 130 tons. It's 300. So 40. So let's let's say it had 45 ton in it. Okay, 45 ton. So, so off 130, whatever. Yeah. So that's four and a half hours to fill this bad boy, based on your 10 tons an hour. So we're filling it up. <clears throat> no, no, no. 45 tons that is what you've got. That was a no, little no. skip in. Brothers unplugged. The jump drives unplugged. Can we plug the jump drives back in? We got to do everything mm -hmm. manual. We don't have the voice of brothers. Can't do anything with jump drives yet. Also. But it's going to take longer because it's not the 45 ton. That's what you got left. It's the 45, the 130, whatever, minus 45 is what you've got to fill up. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I so don't we know need what that is. Tons. We're 95. looking at nine and a half. Yep. We're looking at nine and a half hours, or 85 tons, eight and a half hours. Okay. Can you give me another two piloting rolls, please? Um, and these ones do have some un uh, hidden penalties. Of course they do. Well, you don't have brother to help you even things out anymore when you come. Oh, no. I know, I know, I know. But 11 you do well enough. Max. It's it's a let's say it's a struggle because the elevens turn into a nine and the thirteen turns into a ten. Um, it is getting harder to stay um, in the atmosphere, but you've got enough. You can start ascending and getting the hell out of there. Uh, so so nice pilot, easy pilot roll to get out, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, but yeah, um, once you're in space, Victor, do you want to do an exploratory on the hull just to check anything happened about the skidding, the skipping? Um, yeah, I did, good idea. Okay. So you'll go out. Do a, just give me a mech roll, please, just to do the check. You've got zero right. G, haven't you? Something like vac suit. I have vac suit. Sweet, you're fine. Yep. Now I need to okay. make another pilot check. You said too. Not yet. Not yet. No. No. Um, so Victor, um, there are some stress mm -hmm. fractures which you're gonna have to get out and sort out before you get into an atmosphere. Um, you don't want those getting any bigger. Yeah. So that is going to take you. Well. Eight hours. We're in the lower. We're in lower orbit around the gas giant, mm -hmm. so we shouldn't be an easy radi radar pickup. We yep. should be kind of still secluded. Hopefully, or, yeah. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. I would think. Can um, um, Garen and Dale please give me a gunnery lock? See, see if you can find anything to lock on that might be suspicious. Uh, Nope, neither of you, you. You've got clear screens wherever you look at the moment. That's what you believe. Yeah. Clear, beautiful good? screens. Yeah. Even if it's yeah. out there, you didn't see it. That's right. Didn't see it. Everything's <laughs> wonderful. Everything's uh, wonderful. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Victor, you have done your job, haven't you? Huh? Victor, he needs to roll to... You've done the mechanical. Yep, sweet. Um, mm. To fix up the fractures. He's back on board. You guys are ready to sail in. Um, did you want Stav to do the um, active sensors now? Yeah, we're going to full of fuel. We're good. Yeah, I'd say pop it out and run it manually. Okay. All right. Um, All right. So, uh, just, just so... I'm not okay. sure what they're doing. Just so you know, guys, any ship operation now has a difficulty modifier to mm. it because you don't have brother backing you up. Don't have brother. No, no brother. Well, can we, can we like, stay in orbit and maybe, like, have Stab tear it down and get brother back running? Is he's going to need a whole comes? lot of different parts. It's a physical part he's got to get. Oh. And then, then That's he, something they can uh, really no, print, you, huh? you can't fabricate yeah. it. It's, it's not only that. Um, brothers oh, Fili, crystal matrix, yeah. yeah, crystal matrix, and then he's actually got to um, slowly build brothers matrix back into the crystal. It's not just Beat the part. 
I bet the park costs as much as, I don't know, a second-hand air raft. <laughs> <laughs> or a first-hand one, perhaps. A brand-new one. Oh. Hey, we still have gold, don't we? Uh, I'm going to get fired worth. when, I meet, up, when uh -huh. I meet up with Cooper. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to... We really don't fun break. being your captain! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we don't okay. take on to the gold reserves, do we? No, no, that's serious stuff if we do that. Yep. Okay, Stev, can you give us an active sensor sweep? Am I at minus one because of the loss of brother? Uh, you've got a DM. I'm not telling you what it is, but yeah. Just okay, you make well, your roll, and I, I take off whatever I need right. to take off. A, a regular roll? Yep. He randomly takes off what he wants based yeah. on whatever he's doing on the other side. Well, I know you what's can happening. see a smile? He ain't even on the screen, and I see it. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. I, okay. My regular roll is made up like that. It's on the, it's on the line. <laughs> Get out of here. He's going to poker yeah. face. I don't want my poker face. <laughs> okay, so, Stev, what, a, what you get back from that? You get a smiling oh, wow. face. Um, what you get back is not much. Um, there's a lot of radiation coming off the, the gas giant, which is interfering with most of your senses. This, while the low orbit sort of gives you cover, it's not helping with your ability to um, get accurate sensors uh, information. You're either going to have to go up higher, or you're going to have to make some computer rolls to actually filter through the data and, and see if you can get anything out of it that way, which takes time, but up to you. If brother was and, here, it'd be uh, done like that. Well, so, of course, but just saying. We got, rab we got rabbits bouncing in brother's brain. Yeah. Is there no specific info about omega rays or omega energy? It's, I mean, omega it, energy. It's just all garbage um, data at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, what are you expecting a gas giant? I'm. Yeah. Uh, I'll try later. Okay. Radio. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what do you want to do? Head in. Blind, or uh, jump out and not do your mission. No, we got to do our mission. We're not going to wimp out. Mm -hmm. What are you guys doing? We're heading in system, man. Okay, at what G? Uh, we're probably going to go at 2G, and we're going to remain passive and try to remain hidden. We can beef it up if we need to. We're going to take our time and maybe see if, if, well, if we're at cruise mode, if there's anything we can also do to better enhance our die modifier roll chances. If okay. there's any other computer type of assist right. or any type of computer stuff we could do to make our manual processes better. Okay. Um, well, I'll so, roll to assist. I'm asking Victor to do that. Yeah. I'm asking Mantar, anybody with computer skills, first see things, if there's stuff we can do to make the manual stuff at, run at better. At 2G, you're going as fast as you can, then cutting the engines and cutting your energy signals as much as possible. Um, adds yes. a little bit of time on. And then, of course, you're going to have to flip over and decelerate, um, which is going to give off an energy signal. Um, but coming in halfway, at least, you shouldn't be... Um, detected but according to the um, calculations that you've done uh, it's going to take you roughly just a little bit over 96 hours at 2g okay uh, well I, I say gentlemen I, I asked victor i said it's probably better to be safe and sorry and keep doing what we're doing okay do you, what do you think especially with all the problems yeah. we got i think so yeah okay so once you get into space dale and garen are you trying to get any locks or scan the skies as you're sitting there because you've got yes. you've got 90 what did i just say 96.2 hours of sitting in those chairs we're not going to be doing this for 92 hours though, are we no we're going to sleep in between we'll have like alarms and sensors and yeah. I'm just sitting there saying, God, some sensors, nice. so passive, right in. Okay, passive sensors are very short. Active sensors can give you your full half a light second. Yeah. So what do you want if you're sleeping? What, what is it you want to do? See, it's all, all kind of complicated now. 
Well, we would want to probably stay passive, but we okay. also have alarms that'll wake us up if there's any issue. So, so we're going about regular life, man, and traveling through regular space, crossing okay. the solar system towards the main world. Takes you roughly. It'll take you, should nothing else happen, just over four days to get to Akorom. Um, you're coming in. You activate, turn, decelerate, mm -hmm. um, and that's when I'll make my encounter rolls. Yeah. Of course. Yeehaw. Now it's a type B starport. And that means oh wow, look at that. That means the enemy sees you, shoots you down and you're dead. Okay. Shit, what does that mean? Okay. Um the only thing that's uh, as you're coming in, um hang on, I just want to see if they actually do detect you. Um, just because the minus two on that because you're being passive. Um, radio, so they get they get almost on and like in in space terms, this is like almost on top of you. They get to within about five thousand kilometers, um, and what appears to be because you'll have enough sensors passively to de to sense out to that. It looks like a a um, a trader of some sort, a two hundred ton trader. Um, changes vector um, pretty tightly to avoid um, coming in near you um, and then there's uh, just some they just send it out a beam um, saying who are the frickin idiots who are coming in dark what is your problem we almost crashed we apologize. This is Captain Rodrigo of the Shalimar. Rodrigo. We apologize. I would tell. I would tell. Uh, You're making up names now. I mean, I said Captain Rodrigo. I mean, Captain for me, Jacob. Just for me, chicken. Not I didn't know because I didn't know whether you were trying to make up a false name or whether it was just. No, no, yeah. I'm just not thinking. Right. Yeah. This is Captain Jacob Promethean of the Shal um, Shalimar. I would look over to Stab and tell him just turn it on. I said, yeah, we, we, there's a war zone rimward of us, and we're not sure if your world, if this world has been compromised, so we've come in passive. We apologize for the inconvenience, and we apologize if we've caused you any, any guy, grief. Guy Fusus says, so, uh, war? What war? We're, we're heading off to Amion, Amion 5. Is there a war there? Is, i got to look at the map. Were we there? Um, no, Amion 5 is over this way. Yeah. Yeah, we yeah. haven't been to Ami in five. No, Cor I say spinward and trailing, and there's a whole bunch of issues. So I'm not sure about Ami in five. So I'm it's, guessing it's, it's you might be good. Spinward and trailing, he says, enca enca encapsulates yeah. everything forward and behind. Rimward and trailing would be it's ah. south uh, on the map. Okay. It's south Rodeo. south Rodeo. southeast. Okay. Rodeo. Rimward and trailing. So I what's said. the nature of this you're war? Going, it sounds like you're going the right direction that you're going to avoid it, but I'm telling you to be careful. If you have psionic shields, do wear them. It's an omega energy. And there's something that's psionically corrupting people and ships. There's a there's a strange war going on. And is there any like generic information I could send over for him that shows proof of this? Mm. <laughs> well, you can show him any one of your videos. I would send him is that the one, one of the more the the war <laughs> videos of what happened. Yeah, if, he, if I can, or I would ask Stab to send that over to him. So, yeah, I can send our best shiniest proof. Yep. Proof, yeah. Proof. Proof. A shiny proof. Yeah, we no. leave the rabbits behind, though. We're not sending the rabbit, the little rabbit phone. That, that was our own trip. That's okay. Yeah, That's, no, all, no rabbits. All good. Okay, so um, where are we up to? You guys, are, you said to stab just to turn it all on. No, just one of them that shows enough proof. Something more on the moderate no, side. No, no, before that, you we're said not... turn it on like the sensors, as I thought that's what you were meaning. Yeah, we would turn the sensors oh, back the on the pole because they already know we're here. Okay. So we, Stev. Would, we would go non passive. Give me a roll, please. Other sensors. Yes, okay. please. Uh, regular roll. Again, I'm kind of rolling on the borderline. Yeah. All the time. Um, yeah. 
you're picking up normal chatter um, you happen to be going traveling close to crossing a, a lane that is an outward bound lane you're heading in on it partially um, that's why they're Ooh, a little bit we're upset on, about that we're on the long, wrong side of the freeway man we gotta, <laughs> we gotta move over here <laughs> we gotta get out there and get back on the right side before we you're gonna and the only way you can do that is to send we're off move a, out of this lane i'm gonna move out of this passive lane and <laughs> ask for guidance into the right lane yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that looks like, you know, the galaxy sort of holds its shape with local gravity effects, but it all turns at the same rate. There you go. It all turns at the same rate. Concentric, uh, concentric shape. Yeah. So, um, Stav, are you responding to the calls that you normally have to respond to to say that you're in system? Second so start tracking. Uh, you know, breaker, breaker, breaker. This is uh, Alpha... Alpha November Sphincter 5 coming in hot. <laughs> yeah, I can do all that story. Okay, stuff. yeah. Rodeo, they're a bit surprised. They didn't see, they haven't, um, there's been no sensors out there reporting a, um, a jump opening. But anyway, um, you need to move to these coordinates very quickly because you are very close to an outward bound lane. Actually, we've just had a report from a ship um, saying that they almost collided with you. Um, and they're talking about something about a war on the rim? Yes, that's correct. Uh, we need to talk to the naval authorities. We have information about a war. There's issues rimward of us. We have proof of it, but we need to talk to the naval authority. Right. Okay, um, Rodeo, so he assigned you a different lane. Uh, it's going to take some adjusting. Da -da 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 -da. Um, he asks you at um, what's your what's your speed you're traveling in on? Right now we're coming in at 2G. We're decent. Okay. Rodeo, so that's sort of two days away. Guys, what else are you doing in those two days? I would say again, we're trying to see if we could make the computer stuff run smooth and run the sensors, and maybe I would want to see if we can find Omega Energies if there's we pick up okay. any weird Omega Energy. Steve, no, uh, that's sweet. their pool noodle. I'm kind of running out of room, but if I coil it, it <laughs> you know manages to uh, fit in every yeah. place, and it Pet should like um, pretty long by now. Yeah. Victor to hey, sort of staple it on the man, outside. It's helping me. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's talking about mm. using your noodle. <laughs> Where you go, Steve? Another sensors. Yep. Uh, okay, uh, I went to college for this. <laughs> <laughs> Holy Ooh, shit. Bad, awful, crap, a snowy, lots of snow. Absolutely nothing. Yep. Um, yeah, um, Steve, you're kind of convinced that the sensor array is damaged in some way which means that Victor or Sam is going to have to get out there and have a look at it. Uh, well, I guess you I'm going out. Go in. Okay. You got to go on EVA. You got to go out and EVA. <laughs> <laughs> so, Victor, because you are traveling yeah. at uh, 2G, I do need you to give me um, a, vac suit, a vac roll, please. Just um, Ooh, what level of vac suit have you got? Oh, uh, one, one, one point. gives you a plus three, and you just yeah. got to make a ten or more. Okay. There we go. One. One gives you a plus three. Nicely done. <clears throat> Nicely yep. done. Okay, you're out there. You're safe. You're attached, and all that. All the normal stuff that you know to do, you do. You're not going to suddenly drift off into space. Okay. Um, electronics first, please. From me? Oh, uh, from right. Victor. Sorry, from he's, me, he's yeah, checking please. the array to see what what physically is damaged. Uh, yeah. Oh wait a minute. I have plus two uh, products. Nice. You're not there we go. Another 12. seeing anything, and you you have a really good look at it. So you're not sure what the hell um, Stav's about. Mm -hmm. I mean, the fact that you've risked your life to get out here and do this, <laughs> you were expecting something. <laughs> um, yeah. uh, what? There's nothing wrong. I tell you, it's 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 uh, sensors are. Uh, uh, 
out of whack. So they're perfect. They're aligned. Really? According, according to Victor, they're totally yep. okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Victor, you can don't have to worry worry about rolling again. You can get back in. You've checked them. There's nothing wrong with them. Uh, on that end, um, the only other thing would be to check inside to make sure they connect into the computer and it's an electronics roll. All right. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't think we have a sensor for that. Ooh, that's not good. That's a six. Okay. Um, no, you're not sure what's going on. The 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 um yeah, just to hear, just to hear. Um, it doesn't make sense to you. It looks like it all should work. That stupid rabbit's bouncing around in the water. No, wires, no rabbits, man. no rabbits anymore. <laughs> oh, try. <laughs> a partial hop drive we got that in the other game but there's risk yeah. to it though but it's quite yeah. nice when it yeah. works right as long as it's working right which it seems to have been anyways we're not playing anyway. right. yeah. yeah kill the wabbits kill the wabbits That's kill the, the wabbits one. kill the wabbits come on guys mm -hmm. we gotta we gotta clean we gotta have a clean ship a clean ship is a happy ship Right, what are you doing? Well, I'm just an instrument man. Yep. I don't do hardware. Okay. Well, I'm not going to sit on the guns unless we unless we're told to. So, uh, um, I'm. Um, yeah, the and, rabbits and, will make yeah. you aim anywhere they want. You know, you got to watch <laughs> out for them. I'm just piloting along, and I'm I'm whistling to uh, patience, Guns and Roses. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um okay so you've got it you you've victor you've got a problem on the ship and you can't understand what's wrong oh, that is very strange um i guess i'm gonna try and follow things back and see if there's anything in between the sensors and uh, where he's checking them and, i don't know <laughs> okay that would be my next, uh... Where you going? We're decelerating now, right? Yep. Make your check, Hello? um... Yep, yeah, make your check. Oh. Okay, uh, alright. Got a 14 there. Okay. Oh, and it's a double six. Oh, yeah. Mark the thing, huh? Point one. Yeah. Point one skill yep. boost. Yep. Okay, or so. Potential. Yep. A bit more experience. Um, right, you think everything's sorted and you tell them it's good to go as far as you're aware. Well, that looks like chicken rabbits, huh? Kind of looks like chicken. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not much meat, you'll, you'll starve trying to eat rabbit all the time. <laughs> Not much yeah. nutrition. Uh, yeah, you actually die of starvation if, eventually if you um, keep eating rabbit, if the, all you could eat was rabbit. Yeah. Unless you ate their liver and their stomach contents as well. Yum. Mm. Okay, Ooh, Stav, another sensor wall. You get yeah. a plus one. Did, did you see what Victor just rolled? Yeah. Okay, Stav, this time you're, you're, you're getting some sensory data that makes sense to you. Um, as far as you can tell, there's no heightened immediate energy in the uh, immediate area or out to the range of your sensors, which is half a light second away. I um, oh know these were put on a, in a um, military base, so they're a light second out, your um, immediate energy sensors. So, um, nothing out to a light second away. Um, all other things seem to be appropriate. Um, stellar information, communications from to and from the place. Uh, the guy that you were talking to, Jacob, has asked you to 
um, keep a closed communication and just um, answer to this signal on this this frequency and he gives you a frequency number or encodes a frequency say, number. Do, Roger out. Okay, we're right. on it. All right. I locked it into what he wants you to do and stick with it. Okay. Um, right. So you're coming in. Just going to make one roll. Oh, God. Another six. Okay. Rightio. So, um, about half a day out. So you're very close to the planet. Um, so in that time, Stav, you've been able to put together a little bit of thing, a bit of understanding about the structure of this place. So there is, um, so a quorum is the second planet in. The third planet out is where uh, the naval base is established. And it's quite a large one. It actually builds ships. Um, as well as does some research it's a it's a um it's about a size five but no atmosphere type planet and it's just it's the property of the naval base of the, of the colonial forces naval base no one actually is able to go on it um there is a scout base present that is um at the moment it's established on a quorum up base um so it's the station that's uh, orbiting the planet um, and of course, there's a small office on the on the surface. Um, it's a 36 bay starport up, so it's quite a big one. Um, there's quite a lot of uh, traffic actually coming to and froing. It seems to be all good as far as you can tell at the moment. Um, yeah, you get a couple of pictures of a quorum. So. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Boom. And this is a quorum. Ooh, ah. Yeah. So, I fucking see the. I think it's 106.5 kilometers per hex. Um, there are four main settlements. Um, there's lots of small la um, estates and ranches and that sort of stuff. Uh, there are seagoing concerns. There are some research facilities in the uh, North um, Arctic Circle. Um, it's not a very volcano. It only has one volcano on the entire planet. Uh, so volcanically it's not that active um, large sea as someone said this they do spend a lot of time fishing here um, a quorum yeah what else can I tell you it was one of the first planets that was colonized several hundred years ago because of its importance in the jump um, sequence between systems um, shortly after it was established, a naval base, defense base, was first established. Then this, out of that grew this huge naval base. You've gone past the um, naval base at the moment, um, Jerry. You know that because it's on the third. Yeah, planet. I guess so. I thought our destination was to go to yeah. the naval base, but we added to the, we didn't know where it was, and we're yeah, on yeah, our way just to the going, new world. going so, to where they said to go. Um, there still has to be a, some sort of naval office or authority at the main world. Yep. We would want to get a hold of them, and they could relay a message to the actual naval base. We're here to meet Jawbreaker, aren't we? And to take some information to him? Isn't that why we're here? Got to find Jawbreaker? Well, someone called Jawbreaker. You've never met him before, so... <laughs> well, yeah, that's just the name I remember. I yep. know he's the previous game. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um... Okay, um, so folks, you still come on in, um, you're getting more, um, so this, this planet is, part, so their version of um, speeder, speeder bike racing um, is a national sport here, um, fishing. And the, the the creatures they fish for 
aren't like you know 100 kilograms we're talking two three four five six hundred kilograms these are huge fish that they fish here um and really good steaks yeah fish steak. um it, it's it's not overly technological or gentrified it's a bit of a rough planet um but it has enough it's a it's a yeah uh, it's kind of hard to quantify a quorum. <laughs> so you just keep on coming in. Uh, you finally get to within 5,000 kilometers of it. You can sort of see it as she's um, rotating. Um, you're then given another vector to move into. Um, and Jacob, you've got nav, so you'll know that you're actually heading toward Nordstad. Nordstad, what does that mean exactly? Well, North, North oh, okay, is, a, is a, a settlement. Large island in the, yeah. in the Oh, I'm looking now. Okay. That must be where we're supposed to go then, Nordstad. Yep. yep. Okay. Yep. Well, we're going to Nordstad then. Okay, so you, you start to leave the normal lanes because everyone else is directed either to the port up or to Akram down. Um, and it feels a bit weird that you're out there by yourself sort of thing. You, you've definitely left the um, commercial lanes. Um, well, that's obviously where we're supposed to go, so that's where we're going. Yep. We're on our way into Nordstad. Right, yeah. I'm, so, I'm driving around in. Yep. Just as you are about to hit the atmosphere, um, you get a small communique say that your actual um, location, um, you've hit the wrong vector, your location will be beamed to you um, once you've entered the atmosphere, passed through the atmosphere. Oh, so we're not landing at the starport, we're landing at a secret base. You land in somewhere, uh, yeah. We're landing somewhere, but it, yeah, it's a field. Or a, either, yeah, we're not landing where. Yeah. So, um, just need that piloting roll. So, it is, um, I think, a normal um, atmosphere. Nine. Nine. Okay, that's all fine. And I think the atmosphere, a seven, might be seven normal. Standard tainted. tainted. Yeah. So, don't forget to put your... Um, Filter masks on. Mask on. Um, you come through the atmospheres, not dense, but you can definitely see the um, the particulate that's in the in the atmosphere. You're not sure what it is, but it's it's all around. Um, you come in nice and easy. Um, as said, you get a location exact you know, longitude, latitude, your computer sinks in with all that, and you start flying down to it. So you fly over what you take to be Nordstad, which is a, a, a larger settlement. Um, you're probably looking at about 50 odd thousand people, um, but you're not landing there. You still got a few degrees to move, and then eventually um, you're sort of slowing down, still maintaining flight um, you pass over a very small settlement you're still not quite there and you head out and it's almost like you're following a road on the ground and then you get to this place and your computer indicates that that's where the location you've got to land there, there's enough field around the land mm -hmm. you can see um, a building several buildings um, some vehicles um, as you're sort of leaning down, some vehicles you can see have been cannibalized. Um, there's something partially built. Um, you're not sure what the hell it is. Um, it sort of looks like the main guts of a, of a, a vehicle of some sort. Um, yeah, um, there's some chooks. They scatter pretty quickly. Uh, there's a dog barking on the uh, veranda at you as you land. Um, mm. That's it. Mm. You a light on Akuram. There's no one coming out to meet you or anything. Well, <laughs> should they? Who knows? So we're like in the middle of nowhere, man. We landed in the sticks, is what you're saying. <laughs> okay, get out the flare gun. again. Radio. So, um, you get a message that you well, can I disembark. Her, I bring her down gently and smooth, and I, um, we are where we are. Yeah, so Our Honda you... computer says this is where we must be at yep. this time. 
Yeah. <laughs> so do you do you where do you put it down in a neighboring field in the same major field as the buildings um, in front of the house? Where do you want to put it down? All those well, options. where do they want me to put it down? Where they haven't seen it. Like you, you're at the location now. Can we, can we see a bare, dusty patch of ground? I put it, put it down where I assume they wanted it to go down. Yeah, based it, on all the information. If yeah. we land in a the field, they're gonna. There's some farmer who'll be mad at us for denting his I'm, valuable yeah. recreational cash crop or something. Whatever <laughs> the computer or the information tells me where to land, them to my best guess, if it has to be, that's where it's going down. Okay, where's your best guess? You choose. Uh, I, I would guess my best guess would be between the buildings in the most wide open area. Here okay. we are. Boom. Alrighty, so you the um, outer buildings, you're sort of landing in there. That's all cool. Um, from um, some buildings, a couple of people walk out. Um, um, they're all male, as far as you can tell. Most of them are wearing a beard. Um, and they look a little bit rough. Like um, Amish. No, definitely not Amish. Um, well, they got filter masks on too, all right? Or yep. they have full face yep. filter things on. They got small filter masks on. Um, they some of them go back over to work on the vehicle, whatever it is. They're sparking stuff up and they're banging things and they're trying to attach bits and pieces to it. Um, another guy just walks over towards you. You sort of can see him through the cockpit. He walks under the ship. You can hear him kick or whack something against the um, strut of your machine, your vessel and some sort of muffled it sound, sound it sounds like a, a scene out of Westby from Killjoys or Firefly where we landed I mean really um, I would put on my filter masks yep. uh, of course I have my uh, I would have my reflect and my cloth on and I'm going to exit I'm going to drop down the exit bay Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. Anybody joining me? We're gonna. Exit. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll come down. I'll come down and and cover you, and okay. I'll bring my little friend. Okay, that's that's uh, fine. Uh, there's a the guy that there um, has got a peak cap on. He's got some fatigues uh, pants on and a, just an olive coloured sort of shirt. Um, you will recognise him having a, a marine bearing, Dale. Being a marine yourself, I believe. It's yeah. Um, he just comes. Like, man, I don't like officers. Uh, no, not an officer. <laughs> not an officer. Um, so he just walks over to you, uh, puts his hand out, and he just says "Joel" and shakes your hand. To me or to uh... to you first, and then to Dale. It Jacob just... Promethean, sent here by. Uh... I believe her name was Sanders or something. Lieutenant Sanders. Or yeah, was it Sanders? Or something like was, that. Wasn't the message from Jupiter? Keller? No, it was a message from Lieutenant Sanders from all the way from line. I have a message from you from Lieutenant Sanders. It's on this disc here. We haven't been able to read it. There's a lot of turmoil going on in the world rimward of us. Mm -hmm. Here you go. I mean, hopefully you can pull oh, this in. Oh, he says, no, no, no yeah, that, that's for my dad. Oh, your dad? Yeah. Oh, I don't handle that stuff. Well, that's right. You're Joel. We're looking for Jawbreak. Is it Jawbreak or what's this? Yeah. Yeah, I need to talk to your dad, Joel. Right here. He's, yeah. well, he's, he's up at the house. So. Could you take us there? He just points at it. says, it's over there. Just wander up. Don't worry about the dog. Um, it'll only attack you if it's set on you. Otherwise, it'll just bark a lot to protect the house. Uh, he says, um, just, just so you know, um, if you can just tell all your people, um, only use the pathways. If you go off the pathways, there might be an unfortunate um, happening where parts of their body might be separated from other parts of their body. In other words, there's mines. This is, he's got, there's, yeah, we'll stay on the pathways, I say, smiling. Right. Not a problem. Thanks for the notice. I right. look back, everybody, pathways only. Um... <laughs> I've got my two auto pistols on my side like normal and my mm -hmm. cutlass, but that's all I'm carrying. It's okay. He doesn't I'm seem to be carrying anything yep. else. Garen. More casual weapons, you know yeah. what I mean? Like yeah. casual attire. Yeah. Garen, and I start walking forward up the pathways, and I, I wave to the, mm -hmm. the, the the others of our group to follow suit. Okay. I have the mm -hmm. disc, and we're going to go meet Jawbreaker. Oh, shoot. Okay. I'm on the ship. Oh, you're on the ship. Okay, you stay there. Yeah. Yep. 
Anyone else going apart from Dale? Uh, Victor's yeah. going along. Okay. Dale, Jacob, and Victor, Stav, are you coming for a walk or what? Did you stand the ship? There's Stav there. Pierre? Must be away. Okay, right, we'll say that Stav's there for the moment. Um, Stav's on the ship with me. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and Sam's doing whatever Sam does. Um, yeah. Okay, so through you walk up, go through a gate, walk over, the dog's going... Back, 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 back. It's quite a big dog. Um, Does it have a filter mask on, or it must be adapted to the atmosphere? It has no filter mask on. Um, it, it's a dog, but the closer you get, you can see that it's, yeah, something's happened to it because it doesn't look completely like a normal dog. Um, so it's probably been modified in some way to actually be able to survive here. Um, but it's a roughly three quarters the size of a human being. That's a big it's thing. Big ass dog. Yeah, if it wanted to, it probably could take one of you apart. Well, we're going to stay on the path mm -hmm. and just ignore the dog politely because I don't believe Joel was lying to us. He's not going to attack us unless he's sick, darn us. He's just going right. to bark. Okay. Hey, so, okay, so. I, I would believe that uh, we're good. Okay. You um, get to the door. Yeah? Yes. And apart from, you have to ignore the helmet, but this is a guy that you met with at the door. Sorry, um, he's coming up very shortly. Dun, dun. He's wearing he a helmet? Yeah. Oh. And That's... he's... Yeah. Um, he yeah. introduces himself as Gunther. Gunther! Yeah. 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 How are you? Jacob Promethean, and this is my crew of the Shalimar. Right. This uh, is my engineer, Victor, and my right. chief, Connor Dale. And we're here to talk to Jawbreaker. We have a message from Lieutenant, whatever her name is, yeah. um, from several worlds, Rimward up here. Okay. It's very, very, very important. This gets to you. Rightio, so you just follow me. He turns around. He, um, so you walk down the hallway. You can see into the rooms as you walk down. Um, you would expect them to be like a living room or a bedroom or something. Mm. So the first one on your left, it's just got inside that, there's just a suite of monitors and computer stuff. And there's some people there, male, female, who are just monitoring stuff. Uh, you go through the right side Good. and it's basically an armory. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Um, and you get towards the back of the house where there is a kitchen. Um, mm. And there's a guy there, older guy, looks very similar to Joel, with another couple of people. Um, in a second. And, yeah, he... Um, Jawbreaker. Yeah. So, I don't have an unhelmeted um, picture yeah. of Jawbreaker, but you do also see this woman here, who's coming up. Uh, she obviously isn't in the armor, but, yeah. Um, I can't see shit there. All I can see well, is she's fire. on the other side of the um of the planet picture. Holy shit! She looks like she'll rip your thing off if she got mad at you. Oh, yeah, I'll put oh, yeah, it I'll down put there. I'll put it down. Put no, no, I found it. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yep. Cool. So, um, yeah. So they in the middle of some sort of talk uh, over some sort of map on the table, um, and they've got. Uh, PDA pad. They've got pads. They've got about three or four of them on the table and they're picking them up and doing things. And Is she wearing the full combat armor no. with her helmet off? No, right no, no, no. No, no, no. But she does have oh, the rifle picture. next right, next to her uh, leaning up against the table. Oh, is it an auto rifle or what? Uh, probably. Um, and um, you've also got um, the other guy there um, who's got some big, huge well, yeah, snub pistols, basically. Um, that's who you see you walk into, and Gunther says, uh, these are the guys from the ship. Okay, they both turn around and sort of nod, and um, he, he just says, okay, take it away, and we'll, we'll talk later. Um, she gives you a real... She gives you that look, Jacob. <laughs> like, you've disturbed me, and I didn't want to be disturbed. Um, and they just... 
say something between each other you don't quite understand what it means some sort of code and she goes off with some sort of mission to fulfill you're not quite sure what um right he says sit down can we offer you something to drink he said well sure i i suppose so my name's jacob promethean of the shalimar i work under jupiter keller and officer lieutenant from the navy so-and-so wanted this message to get specifically to you we've traveled a long way to make sure you get this we are in a serious uh, if you're not aware there's a serious turmoil with omega energy and psionics uh, i believe it's black cell is the name of the organization and there's an internal war going on manipulating people and resources of the colonial forces um we've been running from it we've had battles with it we have information about it but here is the disc or the, the that is supposed to get to you. We've traveled many parsecs to get this to you, and I hand it to him. Uh, you are Jawbreaker, I'm assuming. He says. Yep. He says and I hand that it. I am. Um, well, he says, sit down. I do. I sit yep. down. He is there, takes is there the... chairs for the others to sit yeah, down? Yeah, yeah, they... yeah. That's and easy. Um, he goes over to the counter and pulls some sort of bottle of something, puts it on the table, chucks some glasses there. He gets a computer, plugs the um, whatever it is you had in there, and he's just... Um, th there's no screen to this computer. There's a sort of interface, but no screen. Um, and, so he can see it, but we can't. We know he's yeah. looking at it. So yeah. he's got some, some kind of... So obviously he plugs it in and he can see it. And I say, whatever you're looking at, we have no idea what it is, but we have some of our own information. Yeah, and he, sure he looks up and he says, well, if he found out, I'd have to kill you. And he nice. smiles. He and, doesn't, just, and it doesn't sound like well, he's laughing, a lot, joking. Um, well, I guess it's good that we don't know then, isn't it? I well, say, in, you may in, do. Anyway, so in a joking but sort of serious mm -hmm. context. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so he sort of swipes through some stuff to get somewhere... Listen, swipes back, swipes, swipes, swipes. He says, just have a drink, I'll be a moment. Da -da -da -da. Does a few bits and pieces. Okay, radio, then he picks up a um, a small radio, plugs it into his ear sort of thing, and just, he, again, some coded stuff. Um, and something about it's all going to happen in the next two hours. Um, radio <laughs> says, so, um, your ship, um, how much free tonnage does it have? How much do we have? 61? So that's all spare. Uh, huh? That's all spare. How much do we have left, Steve? I don't know. What do we have on there? Well, you guys have got the ship. I don't know. Let's see. 63 tons total. Um, let's see. We got extra life support. How much? Um, uh, two, uh, two tons of extra life support. So that leaves us 61. And I don't see any... Uh... I think the two tons of extra life support is in a different spot, though. That's yeah, that, not that's the built in. That's built in. Yeah. yeah. So right. we have uh, 63 tons of cargo. We don't have any cargo. We sold it you all, do. right? We got rid of all our cargo, I believe. No, you've no, got we've a got, whole lot of blades. We've got stacks of blades. And, and alcohol. Oh, alcohol. How many tons of blades do we have? No, the, uh, the alcohol got saved. Sold. We, we sold the alcohol and oh. blades. How we many bought, tons of each? I think we had about ten of blades altogether. Yep. And yeah. I have I, a, I, have, I own I have two tons of blades and I have six tons of textiles on my sheet alone. Yeah, I've got one and two. Yep. Mm. Okay. So yeah, I got five tons of blades. <laughs> so you have some tons you're gonna have to get rid of, he says. Um, yes, this, we have a this bunch is of blades. This isn't a commercial and... um, trip you're going on. Um so we're going to need you to help us get to a couple yes. of planets. Um, so I'll need space for, and I've got to count them up because I didn't actually get ready for this. Um, hang on. Where are we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight. Eight people. Don't worry, we don't need a stateroom. We can just bunk down in the cargo bay um, as long as we've got life support and we'll, we'll make do. Um, well, we can, uh, we, you might want to attach or bring some, uh, living arrangements into the cargo bay. 
We can't double occupy. We each have a stateroom, but we only have six staterooms. And that's uh, all right. He says. Yeah. Yes. So, um, he says. So you said you've got information. So give it to me. What have you got? I would pull out our, our hand computer or Stav's yeah. got with us. I would ask Victor too, and then I would go over the films and the and the things that happened and point out about the buttons we have on our neck and mm -hmm. tell them about everything along the way, you know, about the people going AWOL way back when and the one ship and the ships attacking the base. And, and I even tell them about my experience of my mind almost being taken over and wanting to slow down. I had to get my button back on. Psionic right, yeah. button things. Okay, Stan. And that we do... Yep. Yeah. Yep. Stev, can you give me a sensor sweep check, please? Stev here. Pierre? No, he says keep those. Um, yeah. Where is Pierre, 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 Pierre? Pierre, are you there, sir? If you're talking, we can't hear you. Okay. Um, Jen, can okay. you... Can you... Well, there he oh, is. There now. Is. Are okay. you yep. here? Cool. Can you huh? give me a sensor suite, please? Um, a sensor roll, please, Pierre. Um, Staff. Uh, okay. Let's see what we got here. Why can't I talk? <laughs> okay. Right, yeah. Testing. Yeah, yeah. We can hear you. We can hear you. Yeah. Um, okay. Garen, <laughs> you said you're on the ship. Whereabouts in the ship are you? Yeah. I am in the med bay, checking out the the ingredients that I need for my new bio lab yeah, reactor. Cool. Okay. Yep. Wanted to get to civilization as quick as possible to get all the parts. Yes, I'm very. Well, I would also tell him that we got an issue with our computer. There's some problems with it. We don't have our yeah. AI running. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. at the current time. Okay. We also have four ton space in an empty air raft bay. If you need to load an air raft or something of the sort, oh, we'll we'll fix that. <laughs> this is um okay. So um mm -hmm. he's talking, and then he sort of just taps his ear um, and then a whole lot of people appear and they're like they're really on the edge of their seat sort of thing all looking at him and he just puts his finger up listen says okay we're, we're doing it now boys and suddenly they they just start grabbing stuff left right and center um, he says right well it looks like we're not gonna have time to sit down and talk uh, we need to get the hell off this planet Okay, we got a full load of fuel. We have life support. Uh, let's go. Load whatever you need to do. Uh, let's do it. Okay. I say uh, we'll open up our cargo bay. You can direct. We'll help you in any way we can. Radio, Stav. Um, suddenly there's a burst of action outside the, the ship. One guy looks at you in the cockpit, and he's pointing, and he's making open the door on the top, which would be the air raft. Is that he, the empty one? Well, he's just, he just doesn't know, but I mean, he just, he's just he's wanting you to open the top bays, which are both air roughs. He wants me to do that? Uh, mm. Should should we do that? I would say, Stab, yeah. anything they need, I would say over our account or whatever, cooperate with anybody in the fullest. We've got an issue here, and these are the good guys. We're, we're yeah. working with them to the full extent of our ability. So, I'm sorry, I missed a few minutes when I went uh, down. What happened? Uh, what happened so far? In we're in the kitchen talking to Jawbreaker. We gave him the information, and it right. looks like he's preparing for something big with his people, and he wants us to get off the planet. That's basically everything that happened. Okay. Yeah, they're bugging out. Yep. They're gonna come on board our ship and crowd on board, and we're going to do something. Okay. There's someone. Okay. There seems to be someone at the um cargo bay door wants it open too, Stav. They actually want everything open so they can, they've got stuff they need to put in, by the looks of it. Okay, bring it up on, on lighters open, or something? Or? 
We open the pod bay doors then. Okay, the doors come up. So they begin chucking out all of the um, blades and textiles, and they start loading a whole lot of other stuff in there. Um, hey, someone's got hey, a hey, trucky, man, they... trucky, trucky thing yeah. that's like got a little. Um, probably you'd have seen it. It's a speeder bike. Well, um, I ask him if we can uh, put those blades and textiles at least in one of his buildings or warehouse. If there's a chance at all, we can come back to recoup our money on those. But only I mean, if you want to die. Mean... Huh? He says only if you want to die. We don't have time. Come, okay. Come outside, he says. So I don't really so the dog is, the dog is barking at something in the air. If, if Stab is on the big board, he's going to sense for any of the Omega energy okay. again. Where are you going? Sensing. Mm. If I'm on the big board, I'm going to press the button. Uh, flip the switch and no. nothing. Mm. Yeah. Okay, you guys get outside. Um... There's some big, dark, blotty thing coming over the sky. Oh. <laughs> um, he says, he points up there, that's the Daedalus. That thing is okay. a world breaker. We need to get the fuck away from here right now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm going to just get in the pilot seat. I, I tell Victor to the... I'd say, I look at Victor, I'd say, get to the engine room, everybody get on board. I tell Jawbreaker, get on board, tell me when you have everything loaded you need, we'll shut the doors and we're going to power well, the they're, drives. They're chucking things we... in, uh, they jump, and they're jumping in, they still load, they say, just lift off now as they're doing all this, they'll just keep on going. I and, start yeah. to lift off the ship, I'm yeah. in I'm in the pilot seat with Stav. Okay, and right, yeah. so Jawbreaker's up yeah. in the cockpit with you. He says, okay, we we're going to have a couple of fighters um, escort us up into space, and we've got some more fighters who will be actioning the Daedalus. Okay, I'm following his command. I got him yep. sitting right on the bridge with me. Yep. And I ask, uh, of course, uh, I need Garen, Garen, Garen in the turret, and I need Dale in that, our turrets. Yep. So we have our turrets aimed. I also... Um, I would hand uh, Jawbreaker, because I know he's this marine wicked dude, one of the comms so he could talk to all of our crew with me. Mm -hmm. I give him a comm link. So you you're, you're you could speak to the whole crew too now. And I trust your ability. Okay, well, you're, he just, he just pulls, pulls something out and does something with it, and then he hands you your thing back, and he puts another little dot mm -hmm. on his side. So these are some of the people that you see jumping in. Uh, Anyway, I'll, I'll keep on adding them as, as they load up. Um, yeah, look around. Oh, I remember her. I guess, the, I guess the trip could be worse. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> I remember these guys a little yep. bit. They were part of us with the Star Trigger thing way yep. back when. Okay, and so... the Alien Zombie War. Yeah. Um, Joel... Uh, sorry. Joel Breaker tells you to... Um, he, use, he uses proper vector language sort of stuff um, to basically you're going to be running as fast as you can he says don't worry about any civilian laws um, yeah have you ever worried about those mm, um, I don't think they're, they're really a concern for anyone right now with Wacky clap a thing that just came into the atmosphere. Yeah. Um, uh. So, Stav, you would have had a moment to look up the Daedalus. The Daedalus is a 20,000 ton battle destroyer. Okay, there's three of them in Ooh. the colonial forces. Oh boy, it's compromised. What do these guys do? <laughs> <laughs> They're compromised by Black Cell. It's a Navy ship that's been taken over if by have, Black yeah. Cell. So, Stav, do you want to try to um, confirm that? How would I confirm it? With a sensor? 20,000 tons? Omega energy sensor, maybe. Yeah. Oh, Omega energy. Yeah, okay. Well, um, I, I don't know how much uh, interval I have to wait between sensor checks, but... I'm trying to. Uh, well, sense... you're taking off, so you're trying to do sensors. Yeah. So that, uh, Jacob well, I got, can fly. I got, a, I got a direction now, so I'm trying to sense that Daedalus ship specifically. Mm -hmm. Hello, well... actively sensing you. Please pay <laughs> no attention. Hello. No. I uh, have a crap. question. <laughs> I have a question, and something which I'm going to do. I'm going to make sure that every single one of these people have got a, got a side shield. They probably already got them. 
Yeah. Ah, there I, I, I want to all the way around. This is a freaking mercenary group, dude. These, are, these guys are the these guys are rambles. They're the baddest mm. of the baddest. They'll, they'll they can yeah. cut you up in pieces in seconds. That's why we double check. Yeah, that's why he's double checking. Okay, Dale, you on your way oh, up to your turret? Everybody. Is you... this cab breaker himself right here? Yeah. No. No, I remember that face. I remember all these images. Yeah, yeah. I just this don't is, remember. This is this. one of the jewel breaker pictures I've got coming in now. Um, so they all seem to have the same little dots that you guys have. Cool. I am going to pilot low and punch it in, in whatever course he told me to go. So just points in I'm going da, 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 da. at ball to yeah. the wall. Okay. Um, mm. Stav, you will see on the sensors um, four fighters coming in, joining your vector, parallel to you. Um, and so they're faster than 4G? Oh, yeah, they're, they're 6G ships. Dang. They can go 6G. Yeah. They, they can move. Um, basically... Um, Stav, you're catching the in the rear one of the rear cameras. What's happening on the planet right now? Um, they're using mass drivers, oh. and this is contravene to internet, oh, intergalactic law. They're just pummeling the planet now with mass driving. So they're they're destroying the planet. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh my God. Um, also, you can see that they uh, have launched, just because the sky gets a little bit darker, um, a whole lot of, you're not sure whether it's fighters or drones or whatever, um, but these are fast things. Um, so Drawbreaker says, okay, you need to punch and your engineer needs to push the ship to the limit. Um, I relayed the message back, I said, red line the drives. That's what I was thinking yeah. already. Sam, okay. red line them to get everything we can. I'm punching this bad boy. Okay, so I'm okay. All right. down so the first of all, four yep. G the best I can. Sam, Sam first. That might be a piloting yeah. role, but Sam first. All right. To help Victor. Uh, yeah. Uh, Let's just do Oh, Sam, I'm sorry. Yep. Sam first. Sam yep. wasn't eight. Plus one. Come on, we're good, Victor. We need it now more than ever. All right. We're good. Yes. So we yeah. found all those rails right above So eight. one, two, three, thirty percent more. Okay, thirty percent of four G. That would put us at five G, five point some G. Yeah. So suddenly yeah, the ship lurches time. forward, going faster than it should. Um, you are redlining, um, and then you're gonna be. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to keep this going. Um, yeah, this voids the warranty, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if we don't do this right, there won't be any warranty. Yeah. Anything left to um, warranty. Any, any, uh, so, any decals uh, on the outside. Required, you know, to tell you. Fab is going to gently cool the engine drives with a delicate Japanese fan. Lovely. <laughs> yeah, just legally required to tell you that, Captain. Oh. Yep. As you're speeding up, any decals you had on the outside of the ship just peel off. Um... Right, you you're moving. Um, Sorry. Brian, are there any? Are there are there these drones coming after us? On um, I need you to give a targeting roll, please. Can't get a targeting roll. Onto. They are very hard to lock onto. You haven't got a clear picture of them yet, Garen. Nope. You're not locking on to see what they are. No, just be. Okay. So you guys, um, these things are, are tearing at you. You can uh, stave. You don't even need to make a roll. These things are at the edge of your uh, um, atmospheric sensors, and they are making a beeline for you. Mm. So basically, he's um, yeah, he's wanting you the to other... sort of travel across the planet a little bit before going up, and I hope to drag them down and then go up instead of straight across to you. Um, so, piloting roll to get out of the, out of the um, atmosphere, and I'm going to get Victor to give me with his engineering roll. This is my roll, please. Shit. So we need a piloting roll to pull on out. Yep. Oh, boom, boom. 
punching in red line, I got an eight on yep. the eight. So yep. yeah, not with no. me, but still, it's not an eight. All right, here goes the uh, engineering roll. Ooh. Okay, they close significantly. They close. Um, there's. Okay, um, Dale, you get another chance to lock and see what they are. No. Nope. I'm gonna. I'm gonna hit the console. Right. Yeah. You can't get no. a lock. Uh, Stev, you want to try to do a sensor sweep? <clears throat> okay. Okay, Steve, you, you get, you get, okay, you know roughly how many are following you. About 50,000. 50, the, yeah, these are 200 ton drones. <laughs> oh, um, There's no fighting these guys, dude. Uh, We're done. That's a million tons. Unless you want to die. Oh. Yeah. You um, can't outrun them. They and they are at six G. So you're coming up. You're leaving the atmosphere. They're following. They are slowly closing. Mm -hmm. You know what this means? Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. gonna have to jump. I'm, I'm more gonna have to jump right here. here. <laughs> well, we could jump. So, yeah. Do you yeah, want? But you know what? We're not even past the ten diameter point. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I was it's gonna ask you. Do you diameter. do you want to wait till the ten diameter jump, point jump, hits? Jump. Yeah, I, I gonna... would like to get past the ten. I look over to uh, Jawbreaker. Is there a world we can point to aimlessly, nonchalantly, and say we punt? We're gonna have to hit it. Um, we gotta make the jump roll. If we get past the ten diameter, is it a plus three or a plus five? I don't I think remember it's plus now. five. It's big. Oh, it's big. It's like a plus eight though if we're under the ten diameter. We can't jump before that. There's yeah. no maneuvers that we can do or make. Can we try to boost um, it again one more time? If well, you it's do, jump or die, I think. you're going to. He's jump redlined the engines. If he tries <laughs> to do any more, uh, to get any more out, he, it is very much likely he's going to seize the engines. Well, we can't do that then because if we seize the engine, we're just. Yep. Fuck. Okay, so. so uh, um, he wants you to head for Larg. Lar Larvgard, this place. <laughs> Larvgard. 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 I gotta look. I can't see the map anymore. Where's Larvgard? Oh, sorry, sorry. Did I not bring you over? I beg your pardon. No. Larvgard. Where does he want us to go? Oh. Yep. One, two. That's a jump. Three. We can make it if we don't miss jump. I would put so put in the I need you to. Do I got to do a nav roll quick, a quick sloppy so nav roll. Be... Well, no. What you're going to do is you're going to take one of your piloting to do the nav roll. No, I have oh. nav two. Yeah, it's that bloody yeah. computer that we don't have. Oh, I know, I know. There's still that too. Um, boom. So, okay, you make a nav roll. You believe you're set for love guard. You've been doing piloting. Okay, Stav, you you've been following these things, getting closer and closer. Um, you are around about at the speed they're going. You are around about um, at six diameters so far. Okay. So you're over halfway to the jump point. Um, the 10, ten diameters of a world is a plus 10. Oh, plus 10, even worse. <laughs> oh my god. We can't, we've gotta, we've gotta get to the 10 diameter. We can't beat a plus 10. This is within, That's within, yeah. So you need to get over yeah. it to make it a plus 5. It's a plus 5 misjump roll yeah. if we get to Okay. That. Rightio, Jerry. Um, Steph, yeah. sorry, can you give me a um, sensor roll? Um, Dale, you wanting to lock, so give me another lock roll. I tell the gunners, if, if need be, fire at will, if they're fast approaching. Fire at will? Yeah. Wait a minute, we, we got... <laughs> Did you say 50,000? Mm, actually, it's more now. Drones? Well, you've been keeping track. It's now up to around about 75,000. 50, based on the mess that you <laughs> the, the, 
the camera's seeing and the computer's that's, interpreting. That's 15 million <laughs> tons of drones. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> you know. Yeah. What size Where'd is this get... world? What size is this planet? Four, but they get five. all the metal. A what? A five? Four or five, yeah. Um, oh, they must be replicating them somehow. Yep. So, um, Dale, you actually get to sight one of these things. Um, yeah. So, it's basically like a teardrop. Um, the, the front part, the best way to describe it would be like um, like the front, uh, the, a shallow missile head, not a pointed one. Yeah. Um, and it has like scooped out, like four scooped out pieces around it. So it's not a completely whole thing. Yeah, I'm guessing there's danger, horrible shit comes out of those. Yeah, because then you've got four um, vents or v four, four areas where you are detecting energy building up. That's... Your guess is these are probably, each one of them is a laser. Nice. And there's, gonna... uh, that's right. There's only 70,000 of them coming our way. 75. No problem, man. Hey, 70,000 shots. If we, had, if we had 10 hard. tons of, if we had 10 tons of blades, we could dump them out the back. You could have. <laughs> like, the blades have already been dumped, yeah. man. Yeah. Um, Stan, yeah. you did the roll. Uh, that nine was your roll? Or was that from something else? Uh, that's my last roll, yeah, that was the sensors. Okay, radio. So, Stav, um, Stav will point out to you, uh, Jacob, there is a field of... Um, dreams? A field of dreams, yeah. <laughs> there is a field of uh, celestial debris. Oh, sure! We got 50,000, yeah, of course there is. No, we can lose them in the debris! Lose oh, them that in might the be debris. an idea. If you're a shot around the moon, good is there a pilot moon? there, shot around the moon. Hey, hey, <laughs> just, just, just keep the guns focused, girl. Be nice. Oh, yeah. Okay. Get through the debris. We can face thousands of dice of damage, which uh, Steve will be too happy to roll because it's no more physical effort to, to roll 10,000 dice than to roll two. And uh, then uh, we can do that or we can jump. What do you think, guys? Well, I rolled an 8 and a 12, so the 8 was a 2, and the 12 is a 3. I got a rough, I have a rough navigation program, and we're not, we don't know where we're going to end up. We're just going to end up in that system. Hang on, I'll just, just, just roll to see how much damage you might take. Oh, that's nice. Um, okay. Should they all get to hit you? Just saying. Um, <laughs> how many dice is that? 300,000 D6. And you actually rolled that. Holy yeah, you can in the game, shit. but like... I think I think there's a maximum. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Something like about 400. Um, anyway, um, you dive off... Well, you change direction into the debris, hoping that that's going to help you sort of... Um, the, these things don't look big enough to actually hold people in them, so they're probably automated. So you... Did, did you say 200 tons, D tons each? No, yeah. two tons each. Two. Yeah. Oh, two tons That's each. Small. They're small. Oh, okay. They're small, okay. they're small oh, drone like shit with yeah. just the laser okay. beam on it. No, four yeah. lasers. Oh, my God. Four lasers. Uh, yeah, okay. two tons, four lasers, little okay. spaceship drone, and they're moving at 6G with two tons? Mm. How do you get that kind of engineering into that? Black cell. Oh, that's, easy. That, 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 that's easy enough. Yeah. It's yeah, Omega Spirit. Especially if they were designed with high guard. You can do that. <laughs> um, uh, rhyme, rhymes with Marlick, I guess. Um, you know what he's capable of? <laughs> Marlick. What rhymes with Marlick? <laughs> Take off Marlick. the M. There you Marlick? go. Marlick. The, the mad scientist guy. Marlick. 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 Anyway. Oh no. Anyway. Well, so what are we doing? Are we jumping or are let's you see how, let's see how let's, let's see how this goes. Okay, Dale. Can, I want to see with, how easy it is to blow these things up. I'm suspecting really easy. Well, hopefully. Um <laughs> just remember though, well, um You know when you blow one up, two more appear. Bloop, bloop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that charging so Dale, you take it into your mind that you're gonna try to pick off one of the front ones. Um, just shoot and see what happens. That, they they haven't started shooting yet. You're within range, but they they haven't shoot yet. So 
they might uh, have a limitation more. on their range. Yeah, because they look little. Mm. I missed anyway. Okay. Well, actually, no, because you're firing into a swarm. The only thing that's going to miss is a double one. So roll 1d6, please. You go going right to the critical table every time you hit one. No, no. Um, you managed to blow one up. No, in this case, 1d6 is how many you take out with each laser burst. They are small. Yes. Hmm. Imagine what you could do with some missiles. Um, anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what That's I'm probably thinking. a good idea is to launch a missile in their direction. You could take a... There's so much coming. I'm trying to get past... I'm still punching it, and I'm yeah. going through the debris field trying to get past the 10-point diameter point. Right. Give me another piling roll, please. Do you, have, do you have any ECM on this ship? Say that again. Do you have any ECM on this ship? No... Hmm. Yes, don't have an ECM. I don't think they have. have an you might have to look at the okay. computer, but remember, the computer is not that great at the moment. Um, no, we don't have ECM. No, we've no. got an auto evade anti missile. It's dead. You couldn't. You, could, you couldn't transmit a target, target. Could you? Yeah. <laughs> at the moment, probably not. Um, so, did you want to loose off a missile, Dale? Yeah. Why not? Okay. Fire away, <laughs> Jerry. You roll a ten. Um, oh. No, that's okay. You remember, double ones are the only thing that's going to miss. Roll a d6. For me? Just no. one d6? Yep. With that missile? Yeah. God, now roll one d6 again. Missiles work differently to lasers. You managed to hit two. They still have oh, to fire back at you. Yeah, I can, we can expend all of our ammunition and we won't make any dent on their numbers. They haven't no. fired back but they're pursuing us. Yep, and getting yeah. closer. Yeah. Getting closer. Um, yeah, if they get close close enough, they can probably How close are we to the 10, 10 yeah. D limit? You're only at about uh, 7. We should fire off some sand. You Just don't fire oh, off some yeah. sand. That would be Jen's job to do because she's got the sand casters. Yep. Fire off some sand because if they do fire lasers, that'll give them a penalty to hitting us. And they're obviously only little two-ton laser turrets, so even though they fire that, that should protect us a hair. What's vector that they're following us on? Are they all like in a big, like in an arrowhead formation, or are they spread out? What? Um, pretty much arrowhead. They they're acting like a swarm. When you did the maneuvers in the atmosphere, they acted mm. within a, a swarm-like intelligence. So they so they followed us around like a school of fish, kind of. I think. Yeah. Um, we got to get out of here. Yep. Um, yeah. So, just want to say, in amongst the celebrial debris, there are some larger chunks, Dale, um, and you will pass them. Uh, up to you what you want to do with that. Um, missile into something. Anything that makes some, put some, might muck up their senses or something. Okay. Give us a little bit of time. Yeah. So, Garen, are you setting out some sand? Basically, yeah. you, you set out a canister of sand and it spreads out in their pathway, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Okay, radio, you do that. Boom. Um, mm -hmm. Dale, you're Boop. sending off a missile into this debris. <laughs> and. We don't have any nukes, do we? No. Mm -hmm. We need some nukes. Well, mm -hmm. well um, are you asking the captain? Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, oh he says no. That's then okay. someone, someone who seems to be on your line, says, "Yeah, we have got a couple of here in the hold." <laughs> <laughs> Can I like put one up the sh in the spout, please? <laughs> They've brought on nuclear and while devices I'm doing that, I'll, on I'll, your I'll, I'm going to fire. I'm going to fire a missile at that at that debris. Okay, and you hit it. Uh, roll me a d6, please. Damn it! Roll another d6. You take managed to take out five of them with that. Um, so um, the, the but there's so many of them, you're not making a dent in anything, and they no, don't care. No. They don't really so care. the guy that like met you at the house, Gunter, um, he sort of there has got this. <laughs> device on his back and he comes up like between your legs as you get into the turret and he says so where do you want it 
the second best offer I've had all day. Um, <laughs> you know, in the in the magazine, please. I'm, mate, I'm not, I'm, I don't understand these things. You're going to have to do that. I can't do that. Okay, well, I will. Uh, I will. I will. I will. I, I take it it's compatible with our with our rack. You're gonna have mm -hmm. to actually do a little bit of work to pull out a, mm -hmm. a warhead from yours and put it in yep. The, yep. that yeah. and then put it back in. So it's gonna take a wee while. It's gonna take some electronics. So I need you to do electronics or get someone near you who can. The good thing is Gunther has electronics. Gunther's gonna do it. If then. Somebody has. I've I've only got. Uh... I've only got a zero on that. Oh, well, he's got a bit more than that. So he says, just if there's a slight explosion, just don't worry about putting fingers in your ears. <laughs> nice. It doesn't get any better than this. Okay. Come on. Double, double ones. Double ones, he sets with... the nuke off. Just saying. Oh, it's a nuke. Yeah. Yeah. We're doing uh, the Double the ones. No, joking. Um, an 11. Okay, radio. It takes. Uh, sorry, I've got to work out how long it takes. Six. Minus is two, five. Okay, it's going to take them um, about five. There's two of you. About 20 minutes, you're going to be out of the seat. Well, we should be past that 10 diameter point if it's going to take that long. Because it's at, we're going at a full 4G. No, no, it's you're about five, an hour five and point and something, half. but you're dodging stuff. Huh? I need one more piloting roll, please, to come out of the field. Okay. But I mean, 10%, which is 10 diameter of an hour and a half, is 15 minutes. So we're at a nine for a pilot roll. Cool. You clear the debris field. They're all coming through. The odd one does impact on something. Um, Dale, you're ready to fire away. Fire, Dale. With the nuke? Yeah. Yeah. Cycle they want you to shoot it. There you go. Shoot it at it. Shoot the nuke at the swarm. Ooh. He rolled an 11. Okay. Um, give me a 2d6 roll. Don't you have a higher gunner skill than two? Don't I've you only got mean, one. one. You only no, have one? One. Yeah. Hey, I, I didn't roll the character. No. Yeah, um, I know. 2d6. Uh, 11. Great. And another 2d6. Okay, um, there's a, an awesome explosion behind you, and 110 of these things just vaporize. Wow. Hopefully that'll, that'll blind their senses for a wee bit. Um, they're too small to have. Yep, they, they, yeah, you can see it. them flying off in all sorts of directions, because you're still looking, mm. you know, you've got the electronic side on it, you're not going to be blinded by the light, you just get white, but you can see them all flying off in different directions, all sorts of things. Um, and they start to cluster... Mm. Again, swarm sort of mentality here. They had some sort of swarm yeah. mentality, but they're in disarray at the moment. Um, Jacob, um, the computer indicates that you are just about to go into 10 diameters. Oh, well, we want to get a little past that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and we're going to have to. You're traveling pretty fast. Past... Yep. Well, we passed it. Yep. I asked Victor, I says, check them drives. I'm going to hit the button. I'm hitting right. that big so, red jump button um, right here. I'm about ready to slap my hand Victor, on it. Uh, I, double check, yeah, I double checked that the wires are still the, are plugged back in and right. everything's ready to go. And add five to the roll. Add five uh, to the roll. Oh, God. Uh, this but, is, uh, Dale, 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 Dale gets religious at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody say your prayers. Put your head between your legs and kiss your ass. No, you Five, just... 11, we did it! Oh, oh we're under! Uh, we're you're dead. under, but is oh, Victor oh, under? Oh, Victor still has to make his roll. Oh, yeah. yeah, but Victor's is a straight roll. And it can... Victor! Engines. Seven. Add the five on top of that. That's not for the... And distance that's it's for still, pushing the engines oh, that's a 12 which is still okay 12 which is still under so we are both yeah. good we are in normal jump space we did it in a gravity well just <laughs> past we, 10 yeah, diameters but we're out of we, there dude do we know where we're oh. going to come out though yeah, yeah. We, we're coming out at the system we don't know exactly where because this is 
fast, quick nav job. We 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 think we're coming out of the system close to the habitable zone. That's what we set it for. And we didn't set for the planet. We set for the star. I had to put the navigation information in quick. So, yeah, we didn't have a lot of time. We got missiles, and so we uh, we're going to come out at Lanker on the system right. three parts. So, yeah. as, or, as uh, you're jumping into jump space, uh, Gunther puts his head up again between your legs. Um, down and says, "So, um, are we alive? We're alive, he, only technically." Oh, okay, right. that'll do. He says, uh, <laughs> goes climbs back down and goes back to wherever he was. Yeah, you'll find out that Gunther is one of the older ones of the group. Mm. Yeah, he's kind of creeping me out. He likes to come up to the turret between your legs there. That's where you go. <laughs> that's that's how you get in. <laughs> if someone's sitting in there, that's the only way to get in. Um, but anyway, so you're in space. Um, so they have packed a, um, a two extra ton of uh, life support with them. Uh, they've got a whole lot of military gear, a whole lot of communication gear. Um, and um, he turns to um, uh, Hannah. I would say that's worth a little bit of whiskey, my friends. The drives are stable, I say to Victor. We're not um, taking out one of my best Victor. bottles of whiskey. Yeah, Victor, you need to give me an engineering roll. Uh, not engineering roll, sorry. A electronic roll, please, for the okay. normal power plant and dry, normal maneuver drives. All right. Is Jake impured from the alcohol problem? I think he would be. He'd have to get <laughs> drunk on swamp water or something. Yeah. Partially. Um, oh, you got a twelve though. Mm. That's fine. Yeah. Um, uh -huh. So yeah. So you you bring them down. You know you check everything, and there's no cracks. There's no leaks. There's no anything wrong with them. Um, she's done you proud. Um, you'd never want to do that again. Um, but yeah, everything will come back after about a couple of hours back into normal ranges. So, so basically, our uh, our cargo bay has got a whole bunch of mismatched stuff in it, and they're basically living out of it. Yep. We're like super crowded right yep. now. The only only thing that's going to have a problem is the freshers. Ah, uh, well, of course. So the shit's going to back up while we're dealing with this. So we got to like dump water. Do in they not? Do they? Do they do in, in, the, in their gear, do they have? Uh, like any porta potties, and then we can just like fluff it out the airlock. No, no. no you just no. have to, your freshers are just going to be a little bit overloaded, but you know you can you can instead of recycling, you dump basically. Um, nice. But they've, you've got a well, lot I'm of it. I'm going out a bottle of my best whiskey, and I pour me a little shot glass, and I pour. Um, out some well, I think we need to have a talk with these uh, people about what the. What the hell is going on here? The exact too. I say, well, we're alive. We made a successful jump at 10 diameters. Rightio. And yeah. that was a blessing and a gift from God in itself. Yep. So he'll sit down up. in the cargo bay with you all. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yes. Okay. So to answer your question, he says, um, we are part of ourselves. We are a different black operation. Um, we're actually we're created to watch other black operations um, and we have been aware of several moves by Black Cell we've been waiting to get uh, proof, we've been waiting to get some other bits and pieces, we've got a few other more bits and pieces before we can actually launch and attack um, ultimately we're going to have to get to Gooba is that a planet? It is a planet. I'm looking. Is it on the? Oh street? no, no, it's 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 no, it's way above. It's on a um. You'd have oh, to look another at another yeah, subsector. Yeah, yeah, it's almost at the yeah. top of the subsector. It's like um three subsectors up and two to the left. I it's think. Is that just they've just killed hundreds of thousands of people on that planet? Yep. He says, "Well, that's what you're dealing with." Um, what, what 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 is their end game? Why are they doing it? We have no idea. All we know is they're attacking the civilians of the colonial forces. We need to defend them. We need to take the fight to them, and that'll be Gooba. So, we need you to get us there, and we need to get a few things on the way. 
Well, if it's some more nukes, I'm in. Well, he says, <laughs> I'll uh, let you and Gunther talk about that. Um, he makes them. Makes them? Mm. Awesome. He smiles at you. Everyone's got I to be good at something, he says. <laughs> well, in my spare time, I've been learning. I've been. I've been learning fishing. So is there, I've been cooking. So because I'm <laughs> sick of rations. So right. is there any fresh food in, in what you're? Uh, they've all got MREs. Oh, it's the cheapest. It's the easiest and the most compact to take. And it's disgusting. Well, no, 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 no. One of them will say, well. No, after a while, you get used to it. I actually like the one with the green paste in it. <laughs> you know, it's recycled. I uh, it's recycled shit out of the pressure. And they say, I'll Probably. just have some whiskey. Right. Okay, so um, some of them, um, so if you remember the chick, the woman with the blue hair, I'll just put her in again. Uh, her name is Hannah. And she's sitting up um, in the cargo hold, just like a um, a, a, um, a centre base, um, computers, um, bits and pieces. She wants to know how to. So Victor, she's asking, how can she access? Um, she needs to be wired into the ship's sensors. Um, she prints out a schematic. She says, um, can you fabricate and put one of these on the ship, on the hull? Um, I believe I can. I have a Okay, so Tech, what, what uh, you're looking at is, is basically a miniaturized Meson um, communication device. Um, hmm. That will, it's it's point to point, but it is super super fast. Hmm. So right. cool. um, yeah, so you like you could be on Mars as long as you know exactly where to point it. You could almost communicate to Earth in a couple of minutes. So hugely, it speeds up communication really fast. So she gives you that, says, um, yeah, you better get onto that. If not, I'll do it. Just show me the shop. Oh. Um, I I, why don't you show the shop anyways and you both do it? Yeah, that sounds... Uh, well, she says it'd be much more effective if together. I can do this while you do that. As I'm sipping the whiskey and I gave uh, glasses to whoever wanted it and yep. whatever Although we can, we'll and I, um, yeah. I gave job break they want. Yeah. I said, well, you might be the black op, but we're the ship, and we're all family now. Whatever we need to do, we're on board with you. And I cheers to salute with them, and I take a sip off my little shot glass. Rightio. Um, one of them I'm, says, I'm, why, why aren't I'm you drinking not... properly, he says. <laughs> I have a genetic issue that I've been fighting and dealing with, which will not allow me to okay. drink a whole lot. If He's I a drop this down, it's a blast. Uh, so yeah. I still want to have the beautiful, wonderful taste of whiskey, but I have to just sip it slow because I'll get the same effects you will off the small glass right. as you will off of several of those big glasses. Uh -huh. Temporary right. medical affliction. Right yeah, they're working it out, my medics on it. I've had some genetic code issues with some alien encounter shit a few <laughs> worlds back. And it's right. been plaguing me ever since, Jawbreaker. It's really sucks. Well, it says, well, really well, nice. it says don't dip the wick where the wick shouldn't be. <laughs> no, that's my job. And he says, uh, and, he, and, he that. says and he says, <laughs> and you're an AVA. Because that makes sense, he says. No, he's, he's talking to to Victor and he says you're Navy though eh because that'd make sense oh yeah, yeah. so this 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 you guy know. Corvus um I start laughing when he says that yeah. <laughs> obviously you're Marine yeah. Yeah, and I'm a yeah. scout so yeah there's all kinds of jokes amongst all of us yeah. I'd imagine so this guy yeah, Corvus asked the group who so who yeah. takes care of the medical bay here if you have one that would be as Garen there. This would be our gunner and our medicine, our doctor. Okay, he's the Garen. basically yeah. Corvus is the the combat surgeon slash medic slash whatever. So he wants to so know that, if he can come I in would, and have a look at what you've got. I would direct Garen to do whatever you can to share your quarters with this individual, and uh, we're going to have to team up and figure he, this he out. Says, so I would uh, no, no, I won't share Wait, your quarters. I'll, I'll be sleeping Garen? here. All I want to know sure, is, sure. can no, I look at your medical stuff? The, uh, the medical bay. Yeah. Share the medical bay information. Yeah, damn right. Yeah. Right, yeah. he says. Relax. I Lead say, on, relax. he says. Yeah. Lead on. Well, I mean, it depends. And I sip my uh, right. whiskey a little bit. 
Okay. Uh, so, um, when when you go there, um, he he just looks and that sort of stuff, and he asks you've got your bio stuff there. Um, he's not poking about in it all. So he says, he says, uh, is that some sort of research you're doing? Why do you want to know? Uh, I'm a medical person. It might be helpful in the oncoming fight. Hmm. Well, what do you know about it? I don't know. It just looks like you're doing something weird. It's not weird. Tell him. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> she says shut up and she slams the door. Go and drink your shot of pathetic whiskey. Why don't you? <laughs> Be nice! I say it. I go back. I go away from her. Yeah, all right. By Garrett and Corvus, is, Corvus just sort of just looks straight through him and goes to you and says, Okay. Good to understand I the dynamics of the show. I leave. It's because my genetic code is fucked up and she's doing some genetic bullshit and then I walk away. <laughs> okay, he says, well, yeah, I'm not sure why some of this stuff is here, but that's fine. You, you keep your secrets, I don't worry. I just want to know what's available. Um, he says, so we've got some stuff. Um, if you have some spare st um, refrigeration space, I do have some drugs that I need to put in there. Um, I, would I, I will tell you what they are, but I wouldn't suggest you using them. They are combat drugs. I'm not going to use them. You can borrow a piece of my space. Thank you, he if says. If you like. Yep. Um, and just before it goes, he says, actually, you know, you keep a really nice, mm -hmm. tight medical bay. Thank you. Thank you. Everything's very organized and laid Very. And clean, mm -hmm. I would imagine. Very clean. Notice that the rest of the ship. That's because I got one of those. That's that's because I got one of those label machines. <laughs> Door, <laughs> button, <laughs> See, everything's labeled. Yeah. How how tidy do you keep your? Uh, I'm in the field. I'm lucky if I can keep the dirt out of some of my stuff. Well, wow, that's too bad. Well, maybe yeah. I can clean some of that dirt off for you at some point. He gives you a like. I'm not sure what to take that from, but he says. Uh, thank you. Um, and he walks out and he says, I'll be back with the um, drugs. All right. All right. Okay, that's all that he's doing. Um, Hannah, by the way, has set up her station pretty much. Um, she's uh, loading data into it. <clears throat> Some of them are around there. Da -da -da. Um, the woman that you saw in the kitchen with uh, Jawbreaker... Um, with the red hair. Um, she's cleaning some weapons, um, talking to some of the other guys. Um, Joel, the I guy should, you met. I should, I, I should get uh, to know these people because mm -hmm. I did four terms in the Marines. Yep, that's all cool. So I know all their lingo. Yep, you do. That, and you can completely understand what they're saying. Except yes. when they use extra coded words and you're not quite sure what it means, but you sort of got a There's rough idea. There's their coded words. Yeah. But you also know, you also know that, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. they're, they're, they definitely look down on scouts and Navy and everybody else, so even though they're, we're a little less than them in their own way, we're wimpy. Well, we're, we serve our purpose, but we're not as tough as them. Well, they're, they're... well, you know, I, I, mm. I agree with them. <laughs> Delph, it's a nice thing. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, 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 remember who your captain is? Mm. Uh, <laughs> breaker, right, he says? Jawbreaker. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you most get to talk to them. them. Um, most of them have been um, several terms. They've seen a lot of action. Um, the last four years, they've been basically sleeper agents on Akorum. Um, yeah. Wow. Bring the dog. Yeah, the dog's there. It's curled up. And they say, don't don't go and touch it. Only uh, either Joel or, or Joel Jr., a senior, or there's only two that it seems to listen to. Um, apart from, and he points over to the red woman, uh, Martin is. Don't know about her. She's she's a tough one. Yeah. Martin. Martin is. Martin is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so she's putting on her, you know, her fatigues and stuff now. She doesn't have any shame or anything. She just strips down to a bra and no. panties and puts the other stuff no. on and, you know, boom, boom, boom. 
getting all armored up and everything. Really. Well, I'm not messing with anybody or starting anything. I'm staying polite and trying to see how we can be helpful right. and of yep. service to um, them. So, Dale, can you just give me a quick little 2D scroll just to see if you notice something? No, not at the moment. Okay, that's cool. Uh, Corvus returns with the... Oh, I said that, didn't mm. I? These with the drugs and you, you set that away. There's quite a lot. Um, yeah, so... He's going to need someone to fabricate some more. Um, basically, the two of you are going to have to sort of rotate all the drugs um, because there's not enough space for all of them to be in there at once. So sort of keep them cool, pull them out, get the other ones cool, pull them out, get the other ones cool, pull them out. And, um, can't, we, can't we use some storage in, say, the, um, where we store, you know, like in the kitchens or something? There's got to be some type we, of refrigeration. We have some... Uh, or, or, or put them in a... Put them in a is there some room that we can put them in and use the, the environmental controls, adjust them down? Could we turn a low berth into a refrigerator type of system? One of them? That would Not work. to freeze it or... Yeah, yeah, that's different. That would but the problem is with the ELBs, you access one, they all go on. That that cluster of four go on. That's the problem. Yeah. So you'd be you'd be activating the four of them. But I could just, probably could, something. Could, could you okay. just change the emergency low berth room so that it's at you know five degrees Celsius or whatever? Is oh, required. the low berth yeah, room is yeah, also the med bay, I think. Isn't uh, it? No, no. Garen Garen's actually using her stateroom as the as the med bay. I believe is that right, Jen? Uh, you, what? You, are you using your stateroom as the med bay? I, yeah, okay. I didn't think she was. No. I didn't think I was. Oh, okay. Why? Where? Where am I sleeping then? In your stateroom. Oh, so okay. So I'm sleeping in the stateroom. Yeah, could, with yeah. 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 Sure. Yeah. Okay. Radio. Um. Okay. So. Um, if you're going with the emergency low berth, um, can someone with electronic go in there and reset it? I and guess I will do it. But yep. You're fabricating bits and pieces for um, Hannah. Oh, for the meson, right, am, meson huh? laser thing. But there's some things. Right. It's prior. It's priority, isn't it? Get the drugs sorted first. The other stuff we got, we got a week and jump to make uh, that measles yeah. communicator. Up to you. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Give me an electronics roll, please, Victor. Alrighty. Well. Done. No Done problem. Yep. It flips a few switches and you're good to go. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, Corvus is happy. Okay. Um... How many people are in this group? Um, yeah, how many are on our ship now? Total. Uh, I think I said plus a dog. six or eight. Yeah, plus a dog. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And a dog. And oh, I'm missing. I've got Gunther, Hannah, Corbin, dog. Joel and Joel Jr., Martinez, yep. and Gunther. Who's the other one? Gunther? No, I've got him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Joel Jr., I've John Sr., which is um, um, Jawbreaker. Yep. Yep. Got them. Yep. Oh, who, got who have, Yep. Yep. Who you haven't seen? Uh, named. Um. So that'll be Juanita. Uh, just loading her file. She's the one kneeling with the gun in the sort of the firefight sort of position. Oh yeah. Now these that guys one. are just temporary, right? That one. They're not going to stay on forever. Well, <laughs> for the next few months. What? Probably. Yep. It's a long way from here to Guba. Oh my god. You better get used to it. We got a crowded <laughs> ship here. Uh, apart apart from, the yeah, a little, our, apart our from using the free shoes. Now a living quarters. Yeah. Apart uh, from the I'm free sure. shoes. Yeah. Okay, it's, fine. If it's okay. If you quarters, then I'll... I'll... Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, the way we're going that pretty soon we should miss jump and hopefully we'll escape a bunch of sectors and <laughs> get there sooner. Yeah, the world, we might be somewhere completely new or we could be anywhere. Ah, that's, that's negative thinking there. There yeah, you go. We could miss jump and be splattered <laughs> into little atoms, and then you don't have to worry about any of this stuff anymore there, uh, <laughs> that's Dr. Right. Aaron. Hey, that's sooner or later, idea. I think we're going to miss jump, so let's just hope we go in the right direction. We, man, if we were going to, we already should have. We made that one. I look, and I, I, I wave to Jester a high five to Victor. 
We yeah. did that. We made yeah. it. <laughs> I'm we just saying. We're on borrowed time, though. <laughs> I look over to Garrett and I say simply, you know what your problem is, Garrett? You need to drink some whiskey and relax. <laughs> GM, what does the guy look like again? Corvus. <laughs> yeah. You have been in space a long time. <laughs> what? We've all been in space a long time. Well, hmm. yeah, yeah. Victor's been in other things, but let's not talk about that. <laughs> um, <laughs> is that guy you're talking about? Corvus? Garen, no. no? Mm -hmm. Who are you talking about, sorry? The guy who wanted the information in the med stuff. That's Corvus. Corvus. He's the um, field surgeon. Which means he's yeah, a surgeon. He which means he's got you med three at least, a high dexterity. He's a surgeon. I don't care. What does he look like? <laughs> That's what he looks like. <laughs> uh, that's what he looks like? Mm, a little bit rough around You're going to have a little oh, fling yeah. with the surgeon or what? <laughs> Oh, I'm thinking about it. Just keep quiet. Go drink your whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you could yeah, yeah. you could do worse. I walk you away. You could do worse. Um, anyway, um, so I think tonight that's where we'll leave it. Hang on, I'll just turn the recording off. Mm.